worshiping your God. He who has made a way. He has made a way for you to be here. He makes a way even where it seems to be no way. He moves mountain. He makes the walls to fall. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Makata ya rabo zeta ya ya ya. Reke tarabo zeta ya ya. Ori ba 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 zakata ya. O sata ya rabo zeta ya. He has made a way where it seems to be no way. Where there were mountains. He has rolled away the mountains. He has made the mountains plain. He has divided the Red Seas. O shakata ya rabo zeta ya. The walls are falling. For the Lord is God. And his mercy is in you as forever. Lift up your voice. Thank God. Appreciate him for his mercies. Appreciate him for his goodness. Oh, shaka tayarabo si tayaraba. Reke tayarabo si tayaraba. Lord, your goodness, your mercies are forever new. Oh, shaka tayarabo si tayaraba. We convert your presence, our Father. We gather before you, O Lord. We magnify your name, O Lord. We lift your name above all of our names. We exalt your name, O Lord, King of Glory. Your name is a strong power. Your name is powerful. We hide into it and we are safe. O Reba Zakata Yarabo Sitaya. Reko Soto Yarababa Sataya. Your name is exalted far above the mountains. As the heaven is above the earth, so your name is exalted. Someone is that your prayer that the heavens where the Lord sits are far above the earth. Oh, let his name be exalted. Let his name be glorified. Lord, we worship you tonight. Lord, we worship you today for all the things you have done for us. We have experienced your power. We have experienced your mightness. We have experienced testimonies. We have experienced the healings. Oh, makakarabo sitaya. Reke tarabababa sataya. Someone who worship your father. For the hour has come. For those who worship their God. God, they shall worship him eh, in truth and in spirit. O shakata yarabo se tayaya, rinda rabo zakata yaraba, o seketa yarabo ba, makakanda yarabo se tayaraba, zeketa ribo se tayaraba, o tayaraba zakata ya, o seti yarabo se taya. Father, we worship you tonight. Lord, we honor you tonight. Your name is exalted far above the earth. Your name, yes, Lord, no other name but a name of Jesus. No other name. By the name of the Lord, no other name. By the name of Jesus, oh, His worthy of glory. Makakanda ya rabo sitaya, yobona anwa. of that name, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. Makaparabu, 
de Wade, no va a
go forward. For the nation to go forward. Makata yarabusi tayaraba. Riki tarabusi tayaraba. Makata tarabusi taya. Riki tirebusi taya. begin to meditate on what the Lord has done for you. Meditate on the many, many, many things the Lord has done for you this far. If it was not because of your father, if it was not because of the may maker, you could not be to anything right now. Get a reason and thank God. You might have a reason, but nevertheless, even if you don't have a reason, you have to thank God. You might be expectant, you must have been expectant of many things, yet you have nothing. Nevertheless, thank God for your life. Thank God that you are still a living. It's only the living that can praise the Lord. If you know you have praise, you have praise, you have praise, you have praise, you have praise. Thank God. Go ahead and thank God. Go ahead and thank God. Go ahead and thank God. Clap your hands, oh you people. Clap your hands, your people. You people are not clapping. Clap to your father. Clap to him. Makata Yarabu Sitaya. Rindara Baba Baza Kakaya Dayaraba. Rikitiza Yaraba Baba Zata Yaraba. Rambo Zikata Zayaraba Sataya. Rikita Yaraba. Useta Yaraba Zata Yaraba. Father, we thank you. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for making us to be here. Thank you for helping us to be in your presence. Thank you, Jehovah, King of glory. You who opens doors, oh Lord, we thank you. You, the giver of life, we thank you. The Alpha and Omega, we thank you. Our sustainer, we thank you. The, the I am that I am, we thank you. The immovable God, we thank you. The unchangeable God, we thank you. Our sustainer, we thank you. The Alpha and Omega, we thank you. In you, we live, we have our being. With you, there is nothing that is impossible. You you are a God of all flesh. There is nothing that you cannot do. The God of impossibilities. Nothing can stand before you. Nothing can stand between us and you. We worship you, Jehovah, King of glory. Lord, we have come tonight very expectant of the things you have done before, that they will be replicated. We have seen you turn around situations. We have seen you, Jehovah, manifesting in the people's life. You are immovable. You are unconquerable. You are the Fight out of battles. Eh? You give back victory to those who fight. Eh? Father, we thank you, our Father. Lord, we thank you, our Father. The way maker, we thank you. Makata Yarabo Sitaya. Jesus' his name we pray. Media, give us Psalms 98. Psalms 98. A psalm. I sing a new song to the Lord, for he has done wonderful deeds. His right hand has won a mighty victory. Is that your portion? His holy arm has shown his saving power. Read verse 2. <laughs> he 
has remembered his promise to love and to be faithful to Israel. The end of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Just read it one more time. It is shout to the Lord. Verse 5. Sing your praises to the Lord with the harp, with the harp, and the melodies song. I hope you are marking what you are going to do tonight. We are not going to entertain those who are not, who are not joyful here. Hallelujah. With the triumph and the sound of the ram, horn, make a joyful symphony before the Lord, the King. Read. Join in. Verse 8. Let the rivers clap their hands in grief. Let the hills sing out their songs of joy. Verse 9 and the last. He will judge the world with justice and the nation with fairness. Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! Give the Lord praise! Hallelujah! From that psalm, there are many things you have to thank God for. Lift up your voice and begin to thank God. Go ahead and thank Him for your gift, the gift of life. Go ahead and thank Him for His mercies. Go ahead and thank Him. Thank Him for everything He has done for you. Thank Him for His faithfulness. Thank Him for His everlasting love for you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We shall not allow the non living things to worship you. We are here to worship you. We are here to celebrate you. Makata Yarabu Sita Yaraba, Riki Tarabu Zita Yaraba. Makanda Yarabo Sitaya, we thank you for your name, O oh Lord. Go ahead and thank God for the name that the Lord has given unto us. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That at the mention of that name, powers of darkness will surrender, wickedness will surrender, barrenness will surrender. Ah, I don't know what is it about you that you wanted to bow before the name of our Lord Jesus. Tonight, let them bow as you thank God. Tonight, let them bow as you thank God. Oh, if he has done it before through his name miracles will happen through his name testimonies will be heard through his name breakthroughs will be announced Ah, Jesus his name we pray Acts chapter 28 verse 18. We are still thanking God, but one gift the Lord has given to us is the gift of forgiveness. You can be enjoying everything, but if you have no gift of forgiveness, if you are not forgiven, you will suffer. You will suffer because the wages of sin is death. Let us read. The Romans tried. 26 verse 18. 26 verse 18. To open their eyes. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God that they may receive, they may receive, they may receive the forgiveness of sin. We are going to pray this prayer. Say, my father, I am ready to receive. I receive the gift of forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and I'll receive that gift. It is a gift that is given. The gift that is given, that is free of charge. If you confess your Christ as your Lord and Savior, it is just passed to you directly. Father, we thank you 
for the gift of forgiveness for you have given unto us freely you have given unto us freely thank you lord we receive this gift tonight as we embark on our prayers let this gift lord king of glory be received into our hands let this gift your lord king of glory make a way for us oh lord tonight our father oh we receive this gift of forgiveness we receive this gift of forgiveness in the name of jesus jesus his name we pray say my father thank you for the gift of forgiveness in the name of jesus someone go ahead and thank god thank god you might not be required or qualified to receive tonight but that gift is permits you makes a way for you to accept the throne of mercy to access the throne of grace to access help tonight my father i thank you for this gift of forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Jesus' his name we pray. Say, you, my, my, my Father, grant me an open heaven. Tonight, I demand for an open heaven. Render my heavens open. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, over our overnight, over our night of wonders, let our heavens be open. Someone go ahead and pray that the heaven shall be open. Let God rain his fire. Let God rain his fire. Let fire security all over the, the sanctuary, in the park around the vicinity let the heavens be open father we demand for open heavens over our gathering tonight we refuse to remain under covered heavens let nothing cover our prayers lord grant us an open heaven let the heavens be open in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say so we send the blood of Jesus in the vicinity around this whole this sanctuary. We send out the blood of Jesus. Every hidden power, every powers of darkness that against our overnight, we scatter you by the blood. We scatter you by the blood in the name of Jesus. Jesus' his name we pray. Say, as I clap and pray, every power that is gathering against our gathering, we scatter you right now in the name of Jesus. Every power gathering against our overnight, against our assembly, scatter. As I clap and pray, as I clap and pray, powers that have ganged up against my prayers i scatter you by the blood i have come by the blood i have come by the blood to uproot every plantation of darkness to destroy every principality to destroy every works of darkness for this reason we have come to manifest it to manifest the power of christ in us we have come jehovah king of glory for we have come to manifest every hindering power every power of slumber every power of destruction every power of absentism every power of, of, of confusion we come against you tonight we come against you tonight oh tonight we have come with a weapon of the blood of jesus to scatter every power that is against our gathering for sure they will gather but who gathers not in the name of the lord let them scatter jesus his name we pray say every council that is going on against our prayers tonight we scatter you and we frustrate you in the name of jesus every counsel of the wicked ganging up against our night of wonders scatter by fire scatter them and let them be frustrated for the lord says he frustrates the tokens of liars and makes diviners mad whoever is gathering against you anywhere they have gathered against you that you will not receive your breakthrough tonight let them scatter in the name of jesus jesus his name we pray 
Isaiah 54 17, popular scripture. We're still scattering the wicked agenda of the wicked against our assembly. As we are gathering, there are others gathering, not for the sake of God's glory, but for the sake of disgrace. Hallelujah. This is a popular scripture. But in that coming day, no weapon turned against you will succeed. You will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. These benefits are enjoyed by the servants of the Lord. Their validation will come from me. I, the Lord, have spoken. I, the Lord, and the Lord is hungry with the wicked every day, every moment, every hour. For the time that we are going to be here, may God arise. May God arise. Say every gang up, every gathering against our gathering. My Father, frustrate their enterprises in the name of Jesus. As we begin to pray, every gang up, every gathering. My Father, my God, frustrate their enterprises. Frustrate their enterprises and their devices against our prayers tonight. My Father, frustrate, frustrate their agenda. Who is it that said comes to pass it? when the Lord has not commanded it? Let their gang up, let their conspiracy become not. Let their gang up, let their conspiracy become null and void. O shaka tayarabo sitaya, reke tayarabo sitaya, rimba zaka tayarabo sitaya, arabo sika tayarabo, rimba zaka tayaraba. He frustrated the tokens of liars. He frustrated the tokens of this Saturday. He frustrate their agenda and makes them foolish. Let every conspiracy be turned to foolishness. Let every conspiracy against our prayers be turned to foolishness. In the name of Jesus. Oshakata yarabo sitaya. Rimba zakata yarabo sita. Rekita rabo sita yaraba. Oshakata yarabo sitaya. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is name we pray. Say you slumber. You slumber. You will not get to me. You will not get to me. Say you confusion. You will not get to me. You destruction. You will not get to me. As I am here, I will not allow. I will not permit to slumber tonight in the name of Jesus. Someone go ahead and dare with every spirit of heaviness, with every spirit of slumber. Ramba zakata ya rababa, rekita rebo sitaya. Deal with the spirit of slumber. Deal with the spirit of destruction. This will deal with the spirit of loss, loss of concentration. Deal with the spirit of unsettledness. Tonight, as we begin to pray, as the word is being declared, we shall not slumber. We shall not be distracted. Someone go ahead and make that decree. You shall decree a thing and shall be established. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus his name we pray say my father tonight send me a word send me a word through your servant put a word in the mouth of your servant tonight in the name of Jesus someone go ahead and pray that prayer Lord put a word in the mouth as he's preparing as he's coming anyone who will come on this pulpit, anyone who will mount on this altar they shall speak a word into my life that will deliver me Oshakata yarabo sitaya, makanda yarabo zita yaraba, riko soto yaraba sataya, makanda yarabo sitaya. In Jesus' name we pray. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 21, as we are about to conclude. We're still talking about the word tonight. Let that word, the word that will come, the Bible says, God does not send the word and return to him for it. It comes to perform its purpose. Let us read Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 20, verse 2. Nevertheless. Verse three, verse 3, chapter 3, verse 2. Media, just be alert. That confusion should not continue. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ezekiel 3, verse 2. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat the roll. Verse 3. The roll means the word. You chew it. Fill your stomach with this, he said. And when I ate it, and it tasted as sweet as honey in my mouth. I pray that word that is going to come for you. It shall taste as sweet as honey. It shall do a thing in your life. 
tonight is a night of wonders. May this word that is coming tonight bring sweetness in your life in the name of Jesus. Whatever that has been sour, whatever that has been bitter in your life, by the word coming for you tonight, may it turn around your situation in the name of Jesus. Jesus is name pray verse 4. Then he said, Son of man, go to the people of Israel and give them my message. Go to my people in the sanctuary. Give them this message. Say, my father, as your servant is preparing, as your servants are preparing to come, I am ready for this message. I am ready for the message you have packaged for me. In the name of Jesus, I want go ahead and pray. My father, as your servants are coming at every intercession, every session, at every point, my father, I am ready. I am ready. I am ready for the message without doubt. My father, I am ready to receive this message in the name of Jesus. Jesus' his name we pray. Say, my father, in this night of wonders, show yourself as a God of miracles, as a God of wonders. In the name of Jesus, someone, let it be your prayer. Let it be your prayer. Tonight is our night of wonders. May it not be the name alone. May it manifest in someone tonight. May it manifest in your destiny. May it manifest in your career. My father, tonight being a night of wonders, let wonders happen. Let wonders without number begin to manifest in my life in the name of Jesus Jesus his name we pray I pray that this night is handed into the hands of God whatever is interested in the hands of God is safe father we hand over this night of wonders into your hands we dedicate it in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit holy spirit come and take over holy spirit come and breathe afresh on this assembly in the mighty name of jesus your people are ready they are ready as a sacrifice lord provide the fire provide the fire tonight provide the fire for a living sacrifice in the name of jesus jesus his name we pray say my father say my father tonight i am here for you i am here not as a spectator i am not here to waste time my father i am here for you in the name of jesus i have go ahead and clap to the king of kings clap your hands all you people give the lord a shout of victory someone shout a victory shout with a name someone jump for the king of kings jump for the lord of lords jump for the king of kings jump for the lord of lords Oshaka tayarabo se tayaraba. jesus his name we pray hallelujah let us clap one more time let us clap one more time and let us clap as we welcome our choir choir you are welcome Amen. thank you so much pastor praise the lord Praise the Lord. It's been two years counting. Turn to your neighbor and say, it's been two years counting. We're not just reviving a ritual. We're not here to perform a religious ceremony. Amen. We are here because God has proven to us. I mean, we're not here because of a breakthrough. Because there was a time when all those things didn't matter. You didn't care whether you have a car. You didn't care whether, whether you need a job. But you saw people dying. You saw your relatives going, and it meant something that you are alive today. Amen. So, we are just going to continue in praise of that affirmation of what God has been able to do. And we are going to just tell him that you have done everything. That we are alive is enough. Amen. That we are alive is just enough for us. Amen. Amen. Everything for me, you done everything for me, you done everything for me, you done everything, everything, yeah, done everything, everything, yeah, everything, Oh, there's nobody like you. You've done it all, you've done it all for my family. I bless your name. Let me hear somebody come on. Everybody, you've done everything. You've done it all for my family. And I bless your name for me. What have you 
no dad for me what have you no done for me jesus i said what have you no done hey, for me jesus what have you no done everybody what have you no done jesus what have you no hey come on us can find out that there is a reason as to why jesus oh yes yeah oh yes yeah jesus what have you no done i've seen your miracles i've seen your hand move in my life jesus i bless your name i give you glory jesus what have you no done come on everybody come on let me see you celebrate jesus tonight Come on, make some noise and celebrate. Let me see you celebrate Jesus. Hey, this is like a seed that we are sowing at the beginning of the year. Because it's our very first overnight. Oh Lord, we are blessing your name. Hey, hey. One more time, we're going to say, what have you not done? Everybody, what have you not done? What have you not done? What have you not done? What have you not done for my family? Oh Lord, yeah. I have seen your hand move for me, Jesus. What have you not done? What have you not done? Yeah. Jesus. What have you not done? Oh, what have you not done for me? Everybody, come on. Hallelujah. We're gonna do something crazy. Amen. We're gonna do something crazy. I want to see the people that are crazy for Jesus. You're willing to get mad for Jesus. You're willing to get mad for Jesus. Are we ready? Yes. This is what we're gonna do. Get on your mat. Everybody, come on. Say, get on your mat. Everybody, come on, say, get on your mat. Everybody, get on your mat. Everybody get on your mind. Get on your mind. Come on. Has he been good? Has he been good? Has he been faithful? Has he been faithful? Hey. Has he been kind? Has he been kind? Everybody has he been good? Has he been good? Everybody has he been kind? Has he been kind? Hey. Hey. So we give you. 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 Are we ready? So we give you. Yeah, so we give you. So we give you. So we give you. So we give you a run. Yeah. Come on, everybody, come on! Run for Jesus! Run for Jesus! Come on, say. Come on, say. So we give you. Oh, so we give you. Jesus, so we give you. Oh, so we give you. Oh, so we give you. Everybody, we give you. Jesus, we give you. Jesus, we give you. So we give you a praise. Everybody, give him a praise. Oh yes, Jesus, we bless your name. Oh Jesus, we thank you, Lord. So we give you, so we give you. I say I give you. From my head I give, my heart I give you, my soul I give you, my spirit I give you. I give you my family. I give you my children. I bless your name, Jesus. I give you, give you. I give you, give you. Jesus, I give you. Jesus, I give you a shout. Done for me. So what have you no time? I could ask again and again and again. I could ask it because there is no one that can answer the questions that I ask my God. Only Him can know. Only Him has seen me in my darkest moments. Jesus, in the times when everybody left me. Oh, what have you not what done? You not Jesus, done? bless your name for oh, me. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. We are just getting Woo! started. Woo! You said you are crazy for Jesus. I need to see that craziness. Someone say, Mado. Say, Mado. Come on. Come on. Yes. Get ready. Get ready. Are you sure that the... That this thing is working for you. Are you sure that this overnight things are working? But yes, you just gave me a yes, yes, you have a reason.
Nacho. Yes. Is it really a night of wonder or it's really working? Yes. Are you sure it's really working? Yes. Hey. Come on, yes. Add me some sound. Add me some sound. I'm not feeling it. Add me yes. some sound. Yes. yes. Come on, yes. Yes, that is it. Come on. Shout hallelujah. Hey, shout hallelujah to the everybody. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Everything is working for my sake. Miracle everywhere. Blessing everywhere. Wonders everywhere. I see that wonders everywhere. In a night of 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 wonders evident. your hanky because if the devil could not take you two years back if it failed him to take you in two years <laughs> is it now in the 20th in the third of the of the 20th that he will be able to take you are you sure hallelujah Hallelujah, I can make a little bit of a 
your hands like this. Come on. Come on. So I'm going to go like this. What do you say?
man start to speak in tongues in exhortation. We are man to start to speak in tongues. Start to glorify the maker of the whole universe. Start to exalt him. Start to exalt him in tongues. The Holy Spirit, the great intercessor, knows what you are talking about. Hey, Jesus must be honored, must be honored, honored. Jesus must be honored in my life. Yeah. Jesus must be
We worship you, the supreme authority. We are here for you, my God, and you and you alone. Hey, Father, we thank you for a wonderful opportunity to be in your presence this night. We are not taking the journey masses for granted. We are not taking your mercy, the unending mercy. We are not taking the abundance of your grace upon our lives for granted. We thank you for your goodness and love you based on us. We worship your majesty. There is no God we can ever use to compare us with you. And there is no man that can take your glory. Father, we worship you. Come and do what no man can do. Come and liberate your people from the valley to the mountain top of life. Come and change stories here, my God, tonight. Let there be change, the kingdom of glory of garments and change of stories. Let there be great healing. Let there be deliverance. Let there be opening up of eyes. When we were singing this song, only you can do. The Holy Spirit opened my eyes to see a lady in our midst. You are like a woman that ran away. And you have been in a trouble, this particular trouble for a long time. You have been in a mess. Let me use that word. It's like your life. You don't know where to go and what to say again concerning your life. But I have come with a good news tonight. That there is nothing impossible before the Lord. The enemies might be thinking that they have won over you. But the silencer of the enemies will silence them on your behalf. In the name of Jesus.
have none I will be my own It's not by my It's not by my And it's not by power It's not by power By the Spirit somebody tonight and the Holy Spirit is saying that there is no mountain our God cannot lift there is no mountain Jehovah cannot level there is no mountain Messiah cannot level the Bible says that the mountain saw him and melted like was the hill saw him and skimmed like lamb and the hill like is there anything impossible before your maker is there anything impossible before the Lord I don't know who the Holy Spirit is talking about again in your place of work because they have seen how dedicated you are how dedicated and zealous you are over your job and they are conspiring to make sure that you go with shame out of that place but I have come to announce to you because the Lord has brought this revelation Jehovah has risen to fight for you he has risen to fight your battles he has risen to contend against your contenders he has risen to silence the enemies of your soul Joseph told the brothers you people meant evil for me but the Lord has turned it for good the Lord will turn all their wickedness against them for he will contend against our contenders he will plead your cause he will draw out the javelin and stop the wicked persecuting you he says that their day shall be dark and their way shall be slippery and the valley they have dug or the pit they have dug for you they will enter into it their coffee will swallow them in the name of Jesus their monitoring devices will scatter at the thunderous amen and the Holy Spirit is telling somebody he says be still and know that I am God be still and know that I am God be still and know that I am Jehovah Elohim be still and know that I am Jehovah Tyre be still and know that I am the way maker be still and know I am your defender be still and know I am your shield no weapon are is formed against you will ever stand will ever stand will ever stand and I pray for uncommon wisdom on somebody you have relatives <laughs> but you are not in the same page with them I don't know who the Holy Spirit is talking about and the, the kind of thing the Lord <laughs> wants to do for you you can only reap the fruit by uttermost wisdom of God there are people that do know, you don't need them to know what the Lord has been doing in your life or what he wants to do every relative is not a relative every friend is not a friend as this revelation has come I command any sibling of yours 
that the devil has entered to fight you in future to be arrested 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 the devil will never use your own blood against you he will never use any of your sibling against you as they conspire the lord will cause them to scatter as they gather in your ascent the lord will scatter them in the name of jesus the bible says oh you Come unto me, O you that labor and the heavy laden, and I shall give you rest. I don't know how many of you that need that kind of rest in their lives. Because there is no how worries or anxiety can help anyone. He's saying, oh, come, come, what a gracious invitation tonight. Come, come, come. <laughs> you cool is carrying this heavy load i am willing to take it of you i am willing to carry it off your shoulder just go make a step and come and you will know i am a reliable god and you will know i am a faithful father and you will know i am a god that can never fail cannot help you yes it's just only your God can put them in put you or put them in the you know put your picture in their hearts to remember you yes father we need your true hand of help in the sanctuary we've tarried in this mountain for a long time i prayed and prayed and prayed i am tired oh the maker of the whole universe move me from this mountain 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 <laughs> I've tarried in this mountain I started dodging reasonable friends because I don't know the story to tell them anymore I've started avoiding family gatherings because I don't know the story to tell them anymore I have tarried in this mountain, my father, my God. I need a force of power from you that will propel me forward. The Lord is still with spirit of stagnation. The Lord is still with spirit of stagnation. You've been stagnated by the power of your foundation. I don't know who the Holy Spirit is talking about. You have a great credentials. You have something that will make you great in life but the enemies have turned it it become like a paper in your wardrobe the lord is remembering such people tonight the lord is remembering such people tonight the lord is remembering such people tonight the powers of your father's house have susued on your credentials spiritually they are spied on your hands as this revelation has come anyone that has been stagnated by the forces of foundation by the power of your father's house as your amen will thunder to heaven let there be manifestation right now that we move 
move your life forward. Ah, move forward by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. And let any hand hold you down. Winter by thunder by fire. Let the hands of the powers of your foundation hold you stagnated. Winter by fire right now, by fire right now. I activate uncommon force of fire of God in the house right now. I activate uncommon liquid fire of God to start to saturate people under my voice right now somebody receive fresh fire that will make your case to turn around for good that will liberate you from that valley where you have been thrown into that will pull you from that valley by fire I pray that power must change on tonight over your life power must change us tonight over your destiny power must change us tonight over your career power must change us over your life in the name of jesus anybody that has taken your name to any shrine and as a result of that you have never had any meaningful dream it has been nightmare after the order it has been snake chasing you or thoughts chasing you in the dream by the power in the name of jesus christ the son of god whom you have come here to encounter i command i command i command i command that Evil register where your name is being written to catch fire, 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 is catching 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 fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, and any shrine that is in charge of your case. We write that shrine into ashes. Let the thunderous fire of God appear there. In that you are done, let fire locate the altar. In the waters, let fire locate the altar. In any desert, let fire locate the altar. In the wilderness, let fire locate the altar. In the name of Jesus. I don't see any power sitting on your life. Any power that has stripped you of your glory. Any power that has arrested you and your glory. Tonight I select that power by the name above all names. As I command your glory to return back to you. Receive your glory back. Take your glory back. Receive your glory back. Receive your glory back. Carry your glory again. In the name of Jesus. I pray that the glory of the Most High God shall saturate the surgery. Shall saturate everyone. That nobody entered here tonight. We go home the same. Because we are serving a living God. We are serving a God that answered by fire. We are serving a loving God that has consigned for our issues. So you will never go home the same. Power must change hands over your life tonight. Power must change hands over your situations tonight. Power must change hands over your health tonight. In the name of Jesus. Jesus or something we have all prayed. I yield to you. I yield to you. To our love. Lord, that you cannot help.
Let us truly see your hand of help tonight. Let us truly see your heart of mercy. Let us truly see you in a great way tonight. Have your way, darling Jesus. Come and do only what you alone can be able to do. Because we cannot handle. We give your glory and honor. In Jesus' name we have prayed. of what you are expecting God to do tonight what you are expecting Jehovah to do for you as far as you can see he will deliver but if you are here without any expectation you will not be able to go with something meaningful talk to God talk to God what are you expecting him to do tonight for you? Father, please come through for us. We lay down our bodies and our worries at thy feet. Come through for us. Jesus' name we have all prayed. Jesus' mighty name we have all prayed. I want to charge your inner man. I mean your spirit man right now. So we need to thunderously clap. We need to thunderously clap as we sing this song. By the power in the name of Jesus, the Son of God. I arrest any stranger that has arrived here to test the power of God. We arrest your power by fire of the Holy Ghost. We arrest your mission in the name of Jesus Christ. We negate your assignment by the sword of fire of God. Be arrested by fire. Be arrested by fire. Be arrested by fire. You this evil messenger. You this sorcerer. We arrest your heart for Christ. You we arrest you for Jehovah. We arrest you for Jehovah. We cut you off from your network. We cut your network off. We cut you 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 off from your connection to 
that shrine in the name of Jesus Christ. Let everybody start to call fire. Start to call fire. Start to call fire. Start to call fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Fire. 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 Holy Ghost. Fire. Fire. Mashada rabo sote. Rekana rakaske brokosa. Ribara kate lama kude rebrohosa ya. Rekana rakase darab. Somebody get a partner. Somebody get a partner. Somebody get a partner. And as your partner is facing you, the song says, "My brother, carry fire. My sister, where do we go?" Clap your hands, don't hold hands. Praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hold on. The instruction says get a partner. And we are going to engage in a song that says, My brother, carry fire. My sister, carry fire. If your neighbor is a man, then you say, my brother, carry fire. We are going to turn around the clap our hands. Don't hold anybody's hand, okay? One, two, we go. My brother, carry fire. My sister, carry fire. My brother, carry fire. Carry fire. Carry fire. Hey, carry fire. Fire. 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 Carry fire. Holy Ghost. 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 Carry fire. Fire. Carry fire. Carry fire. Carry fire. lift your hand up to heaven as far as your hands can go by the power in the name of Jesus Christ the consuming fire I release fire in the house I release fire everywhere I release fire everywhere I release fire everywhere I release fire everywhere whatever that is holding you let the witchcraft scatter let the witchcraft scatter Carry fire. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. From person to person. From person to person. From person to person. The fire. 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 Receive the fire. Receive the fire that will set you free tonight from that shrine that will set you free tonight from your foundation that will set you free tonight from that God room of darkness that will set you free tonight from the hands of the enemies. The fire is burning, the fire is burning, the fire is burning, the fire is moving, the fire of God is locating people. Receive your own portion. Receive your own portion. Receive your own portion. The fire that will make the enemies to see you. And they will let you go. Let the fire. Let the fire. Receive. 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 Fire. 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 Carry the fire. 
that will make you to arise and shine the fire that will showcase you the fire that will push you forward the fire that will scatter every network against you the fire that will scatter every chance of the enemies the fire is pouring on people here somebody carry your own person somebody carry your own person somebody take your own fire somebody let fire be released on you somebody carry your fire let fire move yeah fire uh-huh. the fire is moving the fire is moving i don't know what the holy spirit is talking about within this circle you are meant by the powers of your father's house to nurture the shrine of your family who is the holy spirit talking about you are dedicated to an idol 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 but the lord has arrived to set you free tonight the lord has arrived to set you free tonight you must be set free by the power of god by fire by force by power of god you have been dedicated to an idol you have been dedicated to an idol of your father's house but you run away you run away you did good today let you over deliver you because we are created to serve our maker we are saved to serve the lord we refuse to serve any idol we refuse to serve my man gods put your right hand on your chest say my father my god deliver me from every captivity of darkness deliver me from every captivity of darkness deliver me from what i have entered through evil tree i reject i denounce i destroy such wicked assignment in the name of jesus say as i clap let my deliverance come now as i clap let my deliverance come right now come right now let my deliverance come right now for today is my day today is my day today is my day I clap and pray. Oh God, deliver me. Devil wants to steal your testimony. Close your eyes and pray. I clap and pray. Oh God, deliver me. Oh God, deliver me. Oh God, deliver me. Oh God. Jesus, I pray. I want you to be very angry in the spirit. Remember the way the Lord Jesus shouted on dead Lazarus and that is how I want you to shout tonight you will shout three times at the end of the total time of it you start to shout God deliver me he knows the area you are in need of deliverance I might not know but the creator of the whole universe knows the area you are trusting and believing him for deliverance so as you clap your hands three times and as you shout three times at the end of the third time of it you start to say lord deliver me lord deliver me and i want you to be very prophetic you have reflection on the areas you are trusting and believing him for that deliverance so one two we go oh lord deliver me two Deliver me, oh Lord, deliver me, oh Lord, deliver me. I need help, I 
need help deliver me my career needs help my marital destiny needs help my health needs help hey my marriage is in need of help oh lord deliver me 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 Jesus Christ precious name we have all prayed I want to pray on the direction of what I have written this night and it says walking in divine health if there is anything I love so much is divine health because it's just only the living can be able to do anything am I right it's only the living can be able to talk about tomorrow can be able to say I can do this or I can do that and I've come to realize according to Bible that it is the will of our master our God that we shall be in good health and that's why the Bible says according to the book of Matthew 4 I think 23 24 there about the way he was on his head earthly ministry as he was preaching about the kingdom the gospel of kingdom he was doing what healing the sick and delivering people so divine health is your portion talk to your neighbor and say brother divine health is your portion there is no negotiation about it get a neighbor Get somebody and say, my brother, my sister, I command any infection, any virus, any disease, any infirmity in your life to dry up at this altar of fire, at this altar of power. As I clap and pray for you, let them go. Let them go. Let them go! Let them go! Let them go! Eh! Mashada raba raba! Repo sota ya raba! Makase keta ya raba! Mepo sota raba raba! Makase keta raka! Repo sota ya raba raba! As I pray for you! As I pray for you! I challenge any sickness! Any infirmity! Hey, is sitting in your life. In Jesus, mighty name we have prayed. Put your right hand on your head. And say, my father, release on common fire upon that we generate all over my body internally and externally open your mouth and pray when that fire locates you things will start to fade away out of their close places when the fire you are praying of you are talking about you are asking for locates your light tonight strangers will start to fade away from your liver from your heart from your backrest, from your arteries, from your nerves, from your veins, from your capillaries, from all, all over the body. Yeke setaraba, reposota raba, makase ketaraba, reke de reposota ya, rekanda rakasata raba, maposota raba, rekanda rakase kete, reposota ya raba, mabarakata raba, reposota ya rada, reke te leke te, raba raba, carry the fire. Carry the fire that will start to expel strangers out of your organs. Reposo tayara, reposo tayara, reposo tayara, reposo tayara. Jesus, we are prayed. As your hands are on your head, I provoke uncommon deliverance in the house. The deliverance that will liberate every organ of your body that has been captured as a result of witchcraft. I don't know.
know what you could have been fed in the dream and as a result of that your body became disorganized by the blood of jesus christ by the name of the most high god by the fire of the holy Ghost. i command healing upon your life right now from your head to the toes 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 receive healing receive healing Receive healing. 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 Healing is going on in the house. Healing is going on in the house. Something flew out of somebody's head. There is a head that is running like a wheel of witchcraft programming by the power in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of God your head is receiving deliverance right now carry fire carry fire carry fire carry fire yeah, 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 yeah. let every witchcraft program inside your head jump out by fire of God 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 receive fire hey para brocosa in a kata hata brocosa repare kete re brocosa let the money you have received that has caged your life and destiny let the mercy of God arise for your sake receive fire Jesus Christ, whatever you have received that the enemies are using, <laughs> I don't know who the Holy Spirit is talking about. There was a particular gift you received, and it was it's a lady. The Holy Spirit is talking about you received a gift that has caged your marital destiny. I don't know who the Holy Spirit is talking about. There was something a man gave to you, and that man is immediately that thing entered your hand your glory flew off a man will come to your life and disappears like a wind by the power in the name of Jesus as the Lord has remembered such a person today let deliverance come forth for you let deliverance come forth for you let the hand of God locate you by fire by fire Fire! Any organ of your body that has gone through thread by butter, let there be deliverance fire that will return that organ back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who the Holy Spirit is talking about. Every step of your life is being monitored. So I scatter the monitoring devices of the devil. Whatever they used to monitor your steps, I scatter by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Your steps. We are meant to be guided by our divine angels, not by strangers. Any evil escort that follows you 24 4, I kill the power with the sword of fire of God. Let fire consume the power. And I unmask you 
from everything that has covered your life from everything that has covered your glory I am you by fire 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 by fire You are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. You are an overcomer and a winner. No power will stand against your greatness. Any power boasting against your greatness is for a time. But the Lord will arrest your power. You are meant to shine. For you are a shining star. No power will cover your star. No cover will cover your glory. No power will sit on your greatness. In the name of Jesus. Jesus mighty they were praying. I want you to hold your stomach with your two hands. As I transmit fire of the Holy Ghost into your being through your navel right now. Any evil food, anything being it a drink, you could have been fed in the prayer. And they say, result of that since then, you are feeling strange movement in the body. I smoke the stranger moving in your body. That cat and that snake moving in your body I rose by fire of God the hands you are holding is fire, the stomach is on fire, the intestine is on fire, on fire on fire on fire, on fire on fire, on fire on fire hey receive fire here Receive fire here. Let fire flow. Let fire flow. Let fire flow. Let there be transmission of fire in the house. Into your novels. Into your novels. Hey, let fire move here. Raka brokosa. Reposuti lihada. In the name of Jesus. Command anything walking in your body to die. I turn your body into fire. Your system into fire. I turn every organ of your being into fire that will not tolerate any stranger anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ, from your head down to the toes of your feet, you are cleansed totally by the blood of Jesus Christ. You are cleansed totally. You are cleansed totally. You are cleansed totally, are cleansed totally by the blood of Jesus Christ. I destroy every assignment <laughs> of any slow clean diseases. I come against spirits of high blood pressure. I come against spirit of stroke. I come against spirit of low blood pressure. I come against kidney issues in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak fire into every heart here. Any heart problem, go! 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord regulate your hearts. I speak to every breast under my voice. Any lump, any assignment of cancer, I dissolve and destroy it out of your breasts. Ovarian cancer, I destroy you by the power of God. Anything called cancer, we not look at you. 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 In the name of Jesus. Come against spirit of tumor. Come again, spirit of growth. Ah, for the Bible says that whatever our heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted out. So I command that tumor to be rooted out and dissolved totally by fire. I send back to the sender any infirmity attacking and eating your finances. I abort at this altar in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And whatever that triggers this uh, infirmity, whatever that triggers this affliction against you, I destroy from the taproot. 
in the name of Jesus Christ I declare you healed 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 in the name of Jesus I want you to also speak to your neighbor the word spoken to you tell your neighbor seven times look at the person eyeball to eyeball and say you are healed you are, yes say it seven times established in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I want us to affirm our amen again with 21 times hallelujah hey want we go two instrumentalist join me three is ongoing oh shaka broko sarabababa healing is still going on somebody must see the height ribababababababa ribababababababa healing is ongoing healing is ongoing hey saka 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 hey rabababababababa hey rabababababababa hey rabababababababa rakade remo sokarabababa Shidara Bruhusa Shikedere Mokosara Rikedere Bosota Yalaba May the Lord cleanse every soiled part of your life. Oh my God. I don't know who the Holy Spirit is talking about. You always see yourself swimming in the flood in a very dirty water. Very dirty water. You will see yourself swimming in the dirty water. I pray that Jehovah El Shaddai shall lift you up above the flood. Shall lift you above the flood. In the name of Jesus Christ. May his blood cleanse every soil, the part of your life. In the name of Jesus. I know my God we turn it around. I have seen my God turn it around. There are so many, many, many times in my life. I have seen my God turn it around. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know my God can turn it around. Let me tell my story, Rafa. I have seen my God turn it around. Tony, Tony, 
turning. I know my golden turning. Somebody be prophetic. Be prophetic. I have seen my golden turning around. There are so many, many, many times in my life. I have seen my golden turning around. We're going to start from there. Isaiah 38, verse 14, good news. We're going to read together before we start praying. Are you ready? Good news, put it on the screen. One to go. And weak. And I mourn like a dove. My eyes grew tired. Lord. Now hear me. This prayer we are going to pray is not for everybody. It is for the following categories of people I'm going to mention. If your case is not mentioned, don't bother praying. Number one case. Those who are tired of being tired. Number two case. Those who are sick of being sick. Number three case. Those who have fasted and fasting is even tired of them. How many cases have I mentioned? Three. Number four case. Those who have wept and wept at night until their eyes are now red. How many have I mentioned? Four. Number five category of people that we pray this prayer. Those who are overwhelmed by their situation that they don't even have words to say anymore. If you are not among these people, don't bother praying this prayer. 
And do you know the prayer we are going to pray? No. Say, my father, my father I, am I am tired. Arise, Arise. and rescue me rescue. by fire. Say, my father, I am tired. Arise, rescue me, rescue me, rescue me by fire, by fire. Open up your mouth. Rescue, rescue, rescue. Are you praying? specifics you are the one that knows the situation you are tired of and God wants to hear that situation are you hearing me the first segment of the prayer we did a general prayer now we are going into specifics what area are you saying are you trying are you crying out for rescue God wants to hear are you ready yes. say my father by your power by your power rescue me from this situation mention the name open up your mouth Rescue by power, rescue by fire, rescue oh God, rescue oh God, Mata Kiparita Kokoriba, rescue your people. Ah. said many people their problems are rooted from where they originated from are you ready to pray this prayer yes. say fire of, god. fire of god move to my father's house, to my father's house. And, rescue and rescue me from that foundation yes. say fire of god yes. say fire of deliverance yes. enter yes. my father's house
Koko Riba, Kaki Pari, Kakoko Riba, Kakaki Pari, Kakoko Riba. Pray. deliverance I say the louder you are MM the faster you are rescue oppression we are still on this subject matter Luke chapter 19 verse 30 KJV Luke chapter 19 verse 30 this is Jesus talking here saying go you into the village over against you in the which at your entering, at your entering, now give us NLT, same scripture. Go into that village over there, he told them. As you enter it, you will see, as you enter it, specific location where the donkey was tied. What am I trying to bring out? God knows the exact source of your problem. God knows the exact source where your negativity is emanated from. So we are going to ask God to send his fire of deliverance to the root of your troubles. Someone say a better amen. Someone say a better amen. This time around, Let's allow him to direct the fire. Because he knows where the problem began from. And if you want to deal with the, an issue permanently, you locate the source. Are you ready to pray? Say, fire of God. Locate the source of my troubles. And let them be terminated. Say, fire of God. Locate of my troubles and deal with them and deal with them open up your mouth and pray let the fire locate the sauce let the fire locate the sauce Fire locate and destroy. Fire locate and destroy. Cut 
Kataka ke parika koko riba. Kaki parika koko riba. Fire locate and destroy. Fire locate and destroy. Pray. Fire of God, demystify the, the mystery of witchcraft at work in my life. Say, Fire of God, demystify the mystery of witchcraft at work in my life. Hear me, there are many things attacking many people that are mysterious for them to understand. Mama mentioned by the Spirit of God somebody that is in a dirty water. You know the implication. <laughs> Let me just tell you one, one implication. Such a person will be a victim of rejection. Anywhere he or she appears. Because nobody wants to deal with somebody who, <laughs> all from crown of his or her head to the soles of the feet, is so dirty. That's a mark of rejection that is being impacted upon such a person. You are going to pray, say, fire of God. God. Demystify every mystery of witchcraft at work in my life, at work in my family, at work in my career, at work in my marriage, at work in my destiny. Open up your mouth and pray. Lord, demystify. Lord, demystify by your fire, by your power, every mystery of witchcraft at work in our families, in our careers. going to find out the name of the person. Say every mystery of witchcraft at work in the life of Mark. What did I say?
Jesus' name we pray. Remain where you are. I just want us to see a scripture. We continue. Exodus 22 verse 18. You read it and we continue with our prayer. Exodus 2, 2 verse 18. KJV. Read. Do you understand it? Do you understand it? Face that same person. Mention his or her name. Say, Charlotte, hear the word of the Lord. No more witchcraft in your life. Say, Charlotte, hear the word of the Lord. Let witchcraft expire in your life. Expire in your destiny. Expire in your career. Expire in your business. Expire. 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 By fire. By fire. Pray. Which club must expire tonight? just one case for you to understand the mystery of witchcraft without mentioning anybody somebody was going to office one day left her home clean and neat approaching her office only for her to open her handbag to see feces everywhere like that how do you explain that some will say mystery of, witchcraft. mystery of witchcraft. Just like that. Witchcraft is wicked. And that's why when you are dealing with witchcraft, you suspend your heart of compassion. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Tell your neighbor, suspend compassion. Suspend compassion. For, a For a moment. Did the person hear you? Witchcraft, you are going to pray for yourself. Don't pray for anybody. Say witchcraft oppression. Witchcraft oppression. From the day I was formed in my mother's womb. Yeah, to, this mo to this day. This day. Say witchcraft oppression. witchcraft oppression. From the day I was formed in my mother's womb. Yeah, to this day. Yeah. Your time is up. Yeah. Expire. 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 By fire, by fire, pray! Let it expire!
under the cover of darkness because their works are evil their works are evil their works are evil say every evil leg moving from one shrine to another for my sake you are a liar be paralyzed be paralyzed pray pray Jesus, then we'll pray. Say, any shrine or altar in charge of my case, in charge of my family's case, you are finished. Say, any shrine or altar. Now, what I'm trying to say is, any shrine where they have ever visited over your life shrine where they have ever mentioned your case. Yes. Any shrine where they have ever consulted over your life. Yes. Someone say fire. Fire. Someone say fire. Fire. Say any shrine. Any shrine. Or any altar. Or any altar. In charge of my case. Of my you are finished. Fire. 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 Go back to your sender. 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 Go back to
So that I can kill any doubt a newcomer here may have. Passion translation, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. Passion translation, TPT. Put it on the screen, let everybody read. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. Passion translation. Read. Do you believe it? Yes, sir. Is this New Testament or Old Testament? New Testament. You are not sure? We are sure. Okay, let's balance before we start continue with our prayers. Let's balance with an Old Testament. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 27, NLT. NLT. Proverbs 2, 6, 2, 7. NLT. Read. <laughs> I want everybody to read. If you set a trap for others, you will take in yourself. If you roll a boulder down for others, it will pass you to Somebody, if you believe in say a better amen. amen. If you believe in say a better amen. amen. Somebody thunder, say you my troublers. You my troublers. You are in a deep trouble. Troublers. My God is troubling you now. Say you my troubles. Be troubled by my God. Believe me, say amen like a believer. Say every wicked witchcraft arrow. Searching for my life. And my family members. You are a liar. Go back. To where you came from. Say witchcraft arrows. Searching for my life. And my family members. You are a liar. Return back. Return back. Return back. Go send her. Pray. Send it back. Send it back. Sit down, 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 sit down
like a believer amen. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 18a message translation Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 18a message translation read amen. God's mercy I will turn things around for Jacob stop there I will turn things around for Benjamin you are going to cry out like Hannah. And your cry will be a desperate one. My father, by your mercy, turn things around for me. I know my God will turn it around. I have seen my God turn it around. There are so many, many, many times in By your mercy, turn things around for Benjamin. In my ministry, turn things around. In my career, you mention every area of your life. In my finances, turn things around. In my business, turn things around. In my marriage, turn things around. Are you ready? Open up your mouth and pray like a warrior. Pray like a warrior. Kaki pari 
Rikakokoriba. Pray. Zephaniah 3 verse 9a message translation still Zephaniah 3 verse 9a please read stop there I said 3a in the end I will turn things around for the people are you among these people yes. if you are sure you are among the people say better amen yes. If you are sure you are among the people, say better, amen. amen. If you are sure you are among the people, say better, amen. amen. Open your hands. Be standing wherever you are. Let God be true. Let all men be liars. Has he said it? Will he not do it? Said in the end, 
I will turn things around for my people. I will turn things around for my people. Close their eyes. Don't look at me. I'm not Jesus. I will turn things around. My father will approach you by your word. You said you will honor your word more than your name. I hold you by your word. Consigning this to your people. Honor your word. Consigning their troubles. Honor your word. Consigning their bitter tears. Honor your word. Consigning their expectations. Honor your word. For surely there is an end. Whatever has a beginning has an end. That situation of negativity that started in your life and it appears as if it is over everlasting. As your amen will rise higher, let that negativity die suddenly. He said, at the end, I will turn things around. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Amen. Lord, you are the one that said all this. You cannot deny yourself, for your word is yourself. Amen. Lord, I ask and I pray, let this word become realities in their lives. Amen. When Joseph was thrown into the prison, it was as if his life was doomed forever. But at the end, you turn things around. Okay. Hear me. Anyone under the oppression of witchcraft, anyone who has been so much victimized by witchcraft forces, as your amen will rise higher, let the table be overturned against witchcraft. In your life, let the table be overturned witchcraft by fire by fire by fire somebody turn the fire for they thought evil against you but God is about to turn things around for everything is working together for good for those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose because you are a lover of jesus and you are called according to his purpose whatever the witch is meant for evil as your amen will rise higher you are god is turning them around in your favor you are god is turning them around in your favor every power sitting on your testimony every wicked man wicked woman sitting on your expectation sitting on your congratulation sitting on your laughter and your joy as you get ready with your amen let them be overturned by fire Whatever is yours that the enemy is hindering you from receiving. Hmm. The Bible says, Take counsel together, it shall come to naught. Speak the word, it shall not stand. I engage reinforcement of the angelic warriors for your sake. The angelic warriors for your sake let every hanging testimony drop suddenly every hanging promotion drop suddenly every hanging job drop suddenly
hands your hands are open what is yours will not be denied you as your hands are open the bible says he opens his hands to satisfy the desires of every living being because you are still a living being and god has opened his hands to satisfy you I declare you will laugh again I say you will dance again you will rejoice again for when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them by the dream then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing as you get ready with your MM again, you will sing a new song. You are singing a new song. I declare over your life, your tears shall give way to tears of joy. Your regrets shall give way to rejoicing your disappointment this way to your fulfillment any man born of woman that has vowed that over their dead body will you ever receive your expectation <laughs> who is he that says and it comes to pass if God has not commanded so that wicked man that wicked woman bragging over your joy bragging over your expectation bragging over your next level as you get ready with your amen right now because they made a vow and they said over their dead body I declare let it happen by fire Body. May God answer their prayer. Open your hands. I wage war against empty handedness. For when you go, you will not go with empty hands. I declare that career. appears to be fruitless that marriage that appears to be fruitless that relationship that appears to be fruitless and that business that is struggling like a drunko the bible says you have not chosen me i have chosen you that you should go forth and bear fruit as your amen will rise again let fruitlessness give room to fruitfulness for it is written there shall no one be barren in the land as your amen will rise let barrenness park and go What only God can give. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Every career that appeared to be dead. <laughs> Every marriage that lacks intimacy. Every business that that is struggling I 
As you get ready with your amen, let power change hands. 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 As your hands are open, whatever your hands have never touched before, the type of money you have never handled, the type of testimony you have never touched. Not only that you have never touched, but nobody in your family. I declare, may God shock you. 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 They thought you were finished. They thought nothing good can come out of your Nazareth. As you get ready with your amen, you are bouncing back in a grand style. with your two hands. The hand of God. That same hand that came upon Nehemiah. That made him to finish the reconstruction of the walls of Jerusalem in a record time. Let that same hand come upon your two hands. Let the hand of Jehovah come upon your two hands. I declare by the mystery of divine contact whatever your hand touches from this moment we no longer die I declare again by the mystery of divine connection between your hands and the hands of divinity that was dying as you touch it, it shall come alive. Every project you get involved with shall live again. Every proposal you write with these hands of yours shall receive instant approval. Your hands will no longer communicate death. Your life shall convey life. Your hands shall no longer communicate death. Your life shall your hands shall convey life. Your life, your hands shall communicate light. I say 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 light. For light shines in darkness. 
and darkness cannot condone it anything you lay your hands there shall be an eruption of light for in the beginning God created heaven and earth and earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit was hovering upon the face of the waters and God said let there be light and there was light I declare I want you to lay those two hands on your body on your body those two hands any part of your body lay them it is written and this sign shall follow them that believe in my name they will cast out devils they shall speak in new tongues if they drink any that little it shall not hurt them and they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover these hands of yours that has been impacted with the hands of god that you have laid on your body any part of your body where there is darkness light has taken over now i say on the account of these hands of yours that you have laid on your body you are a mobile light you are light in motion anywhere there is darkness of confusion as you step in darkness will step out i say anywhere there is darkness as you step in darkness will step out i say darkness will step out i say darkness will step out i say darkness will step out if you're saying them, I'm saying that they may. Can you say I'm a carrier of light? A carrier of light. Louder than that. A of light. Again. A of light. Again. 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 Light and darkness can never cohabit. By this your declaration, let every habitation of darkness in and around your life be broken by fire. For you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill that can no longer be hidden. Because you are the light of the world, you will no longer be covered. I say you will no longer dwell in obscurity. Because you are a city that is set on a hill, obscurity gives way to visibility. I say obscurity gives way to visibility. Those who have never known that you are in existence, on the account of this encounter, they will see you in a hurry. Somebody declare, I am visible. I am visible. Say it again. I am visible. 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 Finally. I am visible. I declare over your life, whatever was covering you here to, I set it on fire. Amen. For on this mountain shall the covering cast. For on this mountain shall the Lord destroy every covering cast. Whatever covering cast that followed you into Zion, as you get ready with your amen, they scatter by fire. They scatter by fire. They scatter by fire. May God Himself unveil you. I say, may God himself unveil you. May God himself unveil you. May God himself unveil you. Not only will he unveil you, may he announce you to your world. May he announce you to your world. May he advertise you in your generation. It's the same name I'm saying, but amen. Whatever you are doing, as a business person, as a career person, no longer will you be forgotten. You will no longer be alive and be forgotten. 
I say you will no longer be counted among the dead. Now there's a prayer God wants us to pray. We're going to pray a prayer of Lazarus now. Hear me. There are some people here. You are barely existing. You are living, but you are not alive. And what is the prayer? Simple prayer. But I want you to pray with all your energy. And this may be the last prayer in this session. Because some of us are already begging for break. And what is that prayer? This is the, I will release you after this prayer. For you to catch some air and we continue. What is the prayer? You are going to call your name. If you don't know your name, mention my name. You are calling all your names. If your name is Alan Changongo, call it in full. Are you hearing me? You call your name in full. The names you are known with where you are working. The names that your OBs and OGs knows you with. In full, don't just call only the first name. Your first name and your son name. And you will not say, yeah, Benjamin Nebechuku. Three times. Benjamin Nebechuku. Benjamin Nebechuku. Hear the word of the Lord. Arise. Mention it with all your energy. Don't wait for me to stop you. Keep praying. Because something must happen. Power must change hands. Your helpers must remember you in a hurry. As a matter of fact, this is what I had. Some helpers will even see you in their dream right now. So take this prayer very serious. Don't pray it lazily. Are you hearing me? Are you ready? Britain, breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe in the life of Jesus. Breathe out weakness. Breathe in strength. Breathe out. Breathe in power. Breathe out. Say amen like a believer. Are you ready? Benjamin Nebechuku. Benjamin Nebechoko, you are the one of the Lord. Arise, arise, arise. Pray, 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 pray. Kaka, kaka, kipa, kipa. Hey, pray.
in your laughter. Evil reports lodged somewhere that is hindering your expectation from manifesting. Evil reports and evil accusation brought before your destiny helpers that has given them wrong perspective about you. Kumbe, they were all lies. Who is it that says and it comes to pass? If God has not commanded it. For where the word of a king is, there is power. I stand on this altar and I speak as a king. Over every one of you, including those online, every evil report lodged in that high office in order to hinder your joy in order to give you a wrong image in order to hinder your expectation we've just heard that God turned things around for Jacob by the intervention of the God who turned things around let that evil report catch fire there shall be eruption of good news I said there shall be eruption of good news for the thought evil against you but God is about to shock them God is about to shock them what they meant for evil your God is about to turn things around and the brothers of Joseph thought they had finished thing. <laughs> uh, I demand for the intervention of the God of Joseph, God of Esther, God of Daniel, God of Mordecai, God of David. God of Apostle Paul. Yeah. Let that God intervene on your behalf. Yeah. Let that God intervene in that case. Yeah. Oh my God. You have wept and you've been asking God questions. God, you have seen my innocence. Arise and fight this battle. God said I should let you know your tears will not be in vain. Yeah. Your tears will not be in vain. As a matter of as a matter of fact, those conspirators that trigger those tears in your eyes, they will weep blood. I said they will weep blood before their very eyes. They will see the promotion power of their God. <laughs> man of war. Fire go away before you and consume it. All your enemies run about. Lord, as many people that are here that their colleagues have mocked at, that their colleagues have ridiculed and they have treated them as if they don't have a God. Jehovah, for how long will you keep quiet? Jehovah, by your mercy, appear suddenly turn things around turn their mockery into testimonies they look down on you you have they have even made your name an object of of gossip <laughs> the same mouth that spoke ill of you they will be amazed with what your God will do With the same mouth, they will confess that indeed you have a God. With the same mouth, they will confess 
that you are serving a living God. There's a song we used to sing so many years ago. Serving a living God. I am serving a living God. Amen. Serving a living God. I am serving a living God. Amen. Serving a living God. I am serving a living God. Are you serving a living God? I am serving a living God. Are you serving a living God? I am serving a living God. Jesus, you are the living God. I am serving a living God. from your soul and what is that prayer say my father in my life in my career in my marriage prove yourself to be a living God open up your mouth and talk to your father Somebody pray. In my career, in my health, in my ministry, concerning relationship, pray.
for himself in your case. I pray that by divine intervention, may God advertise himself in your career. Out of those areas where they have ridiculed and made mockery of you, may Jehovah prove that you are serving him. <laughs> It appears as if their God is winning. It appears as if your God is dead. It appears as if your God does not answer prayer. It appears as if your God has delayed. But God is a God of season. He may have delayed, but when he comes, he comes big. I say he is coming big. He is coming big. He is coming big. You will never regret it. You will never regret serving a living God. If he is alive, your case will not be a dead case. Amen. Weep not. Amen. For the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed Amen. to open the book. Amen. Jehovah, open the book. Amen. Consigning your children, open the book. Amen. Open the book. Amen. Open the book. Confirm your word in their case that you have prevailed. Amen. We vow to return all the glory to you. Amen. Be thou exalted. Amen. Can you clap for Jesus? Amen. God bless you. You can be seated. Please take your seat and package your offer trains. Package. You need an envelope. Let the ushers know by raising your hands. Now we are about to bring the first segment of this prayer meeting to an end just for us to have a 30 minutes break which is a praise and worship interlude to help you to catch some air but after 30 minutes, we'll come back to keep firing. We are leaving here by 5 a.m. Please don't go before time. It's seven hours in God's presence. So package your offer trees and begin to pray over them. Father, we want to thank you. Those following online the instructions on the screen. It is written. Cast your seed. Cast your bread upon the waters. And after many days, you will find it. Lord, it is your word. You can never deceive. And you can never lie. Whatever your people are casting into your kingdom, cause them not to miss their reward. In Jesus' name we pray. All I have was given to me by my God. All I have was given to me by my God. All I have was given to me by my God. All I 
given to me by my God. All I have was given to me by my God. All you have was given to me by my God. All you have was given to me by my God. Was given to me by my God. All I have was given to me by my God. This is 30 minutes of worship interlude. It also gives you time to stretch your leg out, walk around, get a bottle of water, and you can reduce your temperature. God bless you. Continue. I can see everything. Turning around. Oh, everything. Turning around. I say everything. Turning around. Oh,
I know say over your marriage. Jehovah's a fine say. I want to who has a fine say, say, say. Jehovah's a Oh, Jehovah.
wonder. I wonder. You make me wonder. I wonder. You make me wonder. Wonder, 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 wonder. I make me wonder, lover. I wonder. Oh, you make us wonder, baba. I wonder. Wonder, 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 wonder. Break down. Wonder. Yep. Wonder, wonder. One more. Wonder. that you're in the house of the Lord just appreciate him with your hands this morning the Lord is faithful he is able a miracle worker hallelujah hallelujah child of God I just beg you to arise to your feet this morning as we worship this God as we worship our wonderful Savior our wonderful maker let us give honor where honor is due child of God just arise to your feet and begin to bless the name of Jesus and begin to bless the name of the Almighty God, the God that does wonders without number. He is a miracle worker. He is a faithful God, the destroyer of negativity. He is the destroyer of all evil. There is nothing too hard for our God to do. Our Jehovah is the mighty God. He's the mighty man in battle. He's the mighty man of war. He's the strength of our life. The beginning, he is the end. He is the first, he is the last. He's the only God that we know. He's the reason why we are alive, child of God. Lift up your voice and bless the name of Jesus this morning. Jehovah, we honor you with our lives this day, King of glory, Lord. Ele posa tale bo ya kala ba se tele bo reka tala ba ya lango sa ele ele bo bo ya lava ah sa ka tale bo za ya reke tele bo we bless you Jesus ma tale bo si tele bo sa ya thank you Holy Spirit Lord we give you glory ah reke le ba za ya lava ya we bless you Jesus ah sa la ba se you are the God that all Every door, you are the God that makes the left to one. 
Lord for His mercies. Our God is faithful. Our God is unfailing. Our God is unchanging. Our God is mighty. Mightier than circumstances. Mightier than situations. Mightier than anything that can ever confront your life. Our God is able to do exceedingly. He's able to do abundantly. He's able to do above and beyond what we can ever think or imagine. For His word is true and He promises that what I has not seen, what the ear has not heard, what has not entered the heart of man. That is what is prepared to do for you.
honor. Our Lord desires our worship. He desires to be honored. He desires to be worshipped. Go ahead, honor him. Give him all the glory. The ancient of days. The one that is on the throne. The one that will be on the throne forever. The God that can never be dethroned. He was never elected. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the glory. What a mighty God you are. Kaki parika kokoriba. Kaki parika kokoriba. Kaki pari, kaki pari. We worship you. You are Alpha and Omega. led us as we continue continue with us you have started a work you will finish it and all the glory will return back to you let the church say exodus chapter 5 verse 1 exodus i didn't say you should sit down i just mentioned a scripture exodus chapter 5 verse 1 quickly read Exodus chapter 8 verse 1 And the Lord said unto Moses O man to Pharaoh and said unto him Thou say the Lord Let my people go that they may serve me Exodus chapter 8 verse 20 Exodus chapter 9 verse 1 Read And finally Exodus chapter 9 verse 13 Read Father, honor your word. Let the power behind your word be manifested. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Before you sit down, tell three people, I am going.
God bless you. You may be seated. In the next one hour, by the grace of God, we'll be handling what I titled, Let My People Go. Amen. What did I say? Are you afraid to say it? Let, my go. Let the devil hear you. Before I start preaching, please take note of the following things I will say. Number one, we serve a God who can do anything to enforce the freedom and liberty of his people, including you. We serve a God who can do anything to enforce the liberty and freedom of his people. Isaiah 43, verses 3 and 4. Isaiah 43, verses 3 and 4. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba, Seba for thee. Read verse 4. So we serve a God who can do anything to enforce the liberty and the freedom of his people. Number two thing to note. We serve the God who is absolutely interested both in the wholeness and welfare of his people, including you. We serve a God who is absolutely interested both in the wholeness and wellness of his people. Two scriptures, third John verse, chapter 1 verse 2. We are not going to read Psalms 35 verse 42. Let my people go. In six scriptures we read, we saw it appears as if Jehovah was becoming repetitive. It appears as if Jehovah was a stammerer. Let my people go became a common phrase. Uh, you have heard it and you have read it in the Bible that the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. Before God could say, let my people go, it means that prior to that time, his people probably must have been in bondage. Now let me say this. A major cause or bondage and limitations in the life of Balok Balokolis is an entity called Pharaoh or Pharaoh. A major cause of bondage or limitation in the life of Balokolis is an entity called Pharaoh or Pharaoh. Go and tell Pharaoh let my people go. What does Pharaoh represent? Seven things. And as I'm talking, we are praying. As I'm talking, we are praying. Number one. Thing that Pharaoh stands for. Number one, Pharaoh stands for stronghold of affliction. Stronghold of affliction. Exodus chapter 3, verse 7a. Exodus chapter 3, verse 7a. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. I have surely seen. And if God saw, God must have seen indeed. Because he can't lie. 
he can't exaggerate. He cannot say he saw when he did not see. I have surely, look at the adjective, surely, I am not guessing. I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. <laughs> I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. Lift up your right hand. I charge this right hand lifted with fire. Let it become the right hand of deliverance. Let it become the battle axe of God. Let it become a carrier of fire. Put that right hand on your head and you are going to declare. Say every affliction that God has seen in my life die. Say every affliction that God has seen in my life die. Number two, thing that Pharaoh represents. Pharaoh represents a stronghold of oppression. A stronghold of oppression. Exodus chapter 3, verse 7b. Oppression. 7b, I'll read. And have heard their cry by reason of their task masters. For I know their sorrows. I'll break it down. That B part, I'll break it down. Hear this. It takes oppression for tears or cry to be triggered. It takes oppression for a man to weep like a woman. Nobody cries without an oppression in place. It's also important for you to know that oppression is the mother of sorrow. I have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. Hear this. Taskmasters are not there to pamper anybody. They are not there to massage you. They are there to oppress. They are there to oppress. And there are different dimensions of oppression. And we're going to pray. We're going to wage war now against oppression. Stand on your feet. Say, every task master in charge of my sorrow. Master, sponsoring sorrow in my life. You are a liar. Say every task master responsible for my tears. You are finished. Die! Open your mouth, pray. Jesus' name we pray. Say every oppressor in charge of my case. You are a liar. My God will oppress you by fire. Say every oppressor in charge of my case. My God will oppress you by fire. My God will oppress you by thunder. My God will oppress you with earthquake. My God will oppress you with thunder, with lightning. Believe it, thunder, fire. Please be seated. Number three thing that Pharaoh or Pharaoh represents. Represents stronghold of captivity and bandage. 
captivity and bondage. Exodus chapter 3, verse 8a. 8a. Stronghold of captivity and bondage. I read, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. I have come down to deliver them. God will not be talking about deliverance without captivity and bondage. Deliverance only comes into effect where captivity is in existence. Without captivity, there's no need for deliverance. And I will come down <laughs> to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. Meaning the Egyptians are responsible for the captivity and bondage. You are going to pray. Say, every captivity, every captivity and, bondage and bondage in my life, in my life your, tenor your tenor has ended. I break out. I break out. Say, every, every, every captivity, every captivity in, my life, in my life, every captivity, every captivity in my destiny, in my destiny your tenor has ended. I escape. I break out. I break out. Open up your mouth. Break out. Break out. I have come down to deliver. To deliver. Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray the Bible said this snare is broken and the bird has escaped every snare of the fowler that has captured your life and destiny at the shout of your amen let that cage be scattered every cage of captivity that is keeping you in bondage as your amen will rise like a lion let that cage scatter by fire yeah. let that cage scatter by fire yeah. may god stretch forth his hands to deliver you yeah. if you're saying amen say better amen yeah. number four thing that pharaoh represents Pharaoh represents the stronghold of limitation. Of limitation. Pharaoh. Anything that limits you is a Pharaoh. Exodus chapter 8. Chapter 3 verse 8b, sorry. 8b, I'll read. Not only has he come down to deliver them from the hand out of the hands of the Egyptians, look at the bee, and to bring them up out of that land, out of that land that limited them, out of that land that kept them stagnated, out of that land that confined their destiny, unto a good land and a large. <laughs> Hey, I, not only have I come to deliver, hear this, deliverance with limitation equals to frustration. Deliverance without, with limitation, yes. It, now, what shall it profit you to be delivered? Yet, you are still limited. Pastor, what are you talking about here? Now, if a dog has been in a cage for a, a good number of years and out of mercy, you say, okay, let me pull you out of this cage. And what you have done after you pull the dog out of the cage is to put a chain around the neck that allows the, the dog some level of circumference. The dog can play around within that limit. The dog is free, but the dog is not free indeed. There are many people, they have left Egypt, but they are not free indeed. 
That's what, and God says, and to bring you up out of that land, out of that cycle, out of that pattern, out of that negativity, unto a good land. Somebody say, Lord, give me a good land. Give me a good land. To confirm that God was dealing with limitation here. It is not only a good land, but a large. Opposite of limitation is largeness. Largeness. A good land and a large. Open your hands. Say, my father. My father. Enlarge my territory. Enlarge. Enlarge my horizon. Open up your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every limit, every stronghold of limitation in and around my life be limited by fire. Say limitation be limited in my life. Limitation be limited in my career. Limitation be limited in my destiny. Limitation be limited in my finances. Believe in let your MM make it happen. Number five, thing that Pharaoh represents, it represents a stronghold of deprivation and scarcity. Pharaoh represents stronghold of deprive, deprivation and scarcity. Deprivation and scarcity. Exodus chapter 3, verse 8c. 8C, stronghold of deprivation and scarcity. Not only will he bring them onto a good land and a large. C, let me read 8C. Onto a land flowing with milk and honey. Continue. Onto the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. Meaning, I want to checkmate scarcity in your life. Opposite of milk and honey is scarcity and lack. So when God said, I will bring you unto a land of honey, milk and honey, it is actually saying, I want to end scarcity in your life. I want to bring you to a land of plentifulness. I want to bring you to a land where you will eat bread without scarcity. Some will say, Lord, give me such a land. <laughs> Open your hands, you are going to pray. You are going to pray. Say scarcity and lack. Be ended, Be ended. in my life. Scarcity and lack be ended in my life. Say a better amen. amen. Hear this. This prayer may not make sense to you until you have experienced it. Until you have experienced it. Open your hands again. Say my father. My father. Put in my hands. My milk and honey. Put in my hands. My milk and honey. Open up your mouth and pray. Put in my hands. My milk and honey. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Number six. Thing that Pharaoh or Pharaoh represents. Pharaoh represents stronghold of hereditary and generational transfers. 
stronghold of hereditary and generational transfers. Exodus chapter 3, verse 9, NLT, or message. Look, the cry of the people of Israel has reached me, and I have seen how harshly the Egyptians abused them. For your information, before God came down, four generations have seen this captivity. They were in this captivity for 430 years. A generation represents 100 years stand for a generation. That means the captivity was entering the fifth generation. That means it is possible for negativities to be transferred. It is possible for negative patterns in families to be transferred from one generation to another, which you are all very aware. And this was equally another stronghold here. Because children were born, they grew, became bases, gave birth to children, they died, their children continue where they stopped. First generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation. It was where in the time of fifth generation that God intervened. I pray for you. Every transgenerational negativity in your life, in your family, around your life, as you will gather your amen together, let them be terminated. Yeah. Number seven. That Pharaoh represents Pharaoh represents the stronghold of demon demonic altars and deities. Exodus chapter 12, verse 12. On that night, sorry, for I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. And I will smite. Some will say, Oh Lord. Pass through the land of my enemies this night. Can you say it again? Again? Hear this. When God passes through the land of your enemies, things must happen. Let me give you a scripture to confirm what I'm, I've just said. 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 6. Second, yeah, God bless you. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel had hired against us the kings of the Hittites and the kings of the Egyptians to come upon us. They just heard the footsteps of God. And it was as if a great army invaded their land. And they left everything and ran away. In Acts chapter 16, verse 26, we saw another visitation of God at night. When Paul and Silas were in the prison, God came down and there was an earthquake. And the prison gates opened. Now what happened, let's go back to Exodus. Exodus 12, verse 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. And I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt. I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. We are going to pray. Stand on your feet. And, I will, and against all the gods of Egypt. I will execute judgment. We are going to pray some judgmental prayers now. Against all the gods of Egypt. And I will execute judgment. Some will say, Lord, they execute judgment. The louder, the better. The louder, the faster. 
Let your prayer scatter the gates of hell. The Bible says, Except the wicked be judged, they will not learn righteousness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Except the wicked are judged, they will not learn righteousness. We are going to pray some prayers just from this verse before you sit down. Say, my father, my father in, your anger, in your anger, invade, invade any, altar any altar or shrine, or shrine handling my case. Say, my father, my in your anger, your anger appear, appear at the altars, at the altars or, shrine, or shrine handling my case. Appear there, appear there by fire, by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Fire. Visit the camp of the wicked on my behalf. Say, Jehovah, let your judgment of fire, let your judgment of fire locate the camp of my enemies. Say, my father, let your judgment of fire locate the camp of the wicked for my sake. Open up your mouth and pray. Judgment of fire, judgment of fire, judgment of fire. Are you praying? Jesus, then we pray. Some will say, any witch threatening my life. Say, any witch threatening my life. You are a bastard. Receive the judgment of fire. Receive the judgment of fire. Judgment of fire. Judgment of fire. Judgment of fire. Judgment of pray. Jesus, then we pray. Say, O oh Lord, arise and execute judgment on my behalf. O oh God, arise and execute judgment on my behalf. O oh God, arise and execute judgment against the wicked, against the witches, against the enemy. Say, Arise, O oh God. Arise, O oh God. Arise, O Lord. 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 Let your enemies be scattered. 
Arise, O Lord. Let your enemies be scattered. Arise, clap your hands, O clap. Lord. Let your enemies be scattered. O Lord, my God, arise. Arise, O Lord. Let my enemies be scattered. Arise, O Lord. Let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O Lord. Let your enemies be scattered. O Lord, my God, arise. Hallelujah. O Lord, my God, arise. In Kampala. O Lord. Lord, my God, arise. In Uganda. Oh Lord, my God, arise. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, my God, arise. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, my God, arise. In our father's house. Oh Lord, my God, arise. In our mother's house. Oh Lord, my God, arise. In our office. Oh Lord, my God, arise. Arise, arise. Oh Lord, my God, arise. arise. Oh Lord, my God, arise. Arise, arise. Oh Lord, my God, arise. Arise, arise. Oh Lord, my God, arise. Arise, arise. Oh Lord, my God, arise. Amen. Say, O oh Lord, arise. And execute judgment against evil authors attacking my life. O oh God, arise. And there is a court judgment against evil authors attacking my life. Open up your mouth and pray. Evil authors attacking my life. Oh God, arise. 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 Attack authors attacking my life. Attacking my children. Attacking my marriage. Attacking my career. Attack in my ministry. Who oh got a rights? Who oh got a rights? Who oh got a rights? Attack strange authors. Attack in my life. Mashakara. Rakabu Sutta. Ribu Suturaba. Makaziki Daraba. Who oh got a rise a rocks? A rise a rocks. A rise a rocks. A rise a rights. 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 Trouble enemies on my progress. Enemies on my promotion. Enemies on my elevation. Enemies on my new life. Are you praying? Oh God arise. Oh God arise. Oh God arise. Oh God arise. Trouble my trouble. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say judgment of God. Judgment of God. Visit my father's house. Visit my mother's house. And set me free. Judgment of God. Visit my father's house. Visit my mother's house. And set me free. And set me free. And set me free. Set me free. Open up your mouth, pray. Judgment of God. Visit my father's house. And set me free. And set me free. And set me free. And set me free. Judgment of God. Visit my father's house. Visit my mother's side. And set me free. And set me free. And set me free. And set me free. Judgment of God. 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 Visit my father's house. Visit my mother's side. And set me free free. And set me free free. Madarabu sutayaraba. Makaziki diriki busutalaba. In Jesus. Name we pray. Amen. Say better. Amen. Amen. Pray be seated. For every Pharaoh, there is a cure. For every affliction, there is a cure. What is the cure for the Pharaoh? Number one, is the power of God's word. The power of his word. Psalm 107 verse 20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. He sent his word. Not only does the word heal, delivers from their destruction. 
Psalms 105, verse 15. Go down. Keep going down. No, let's start from 17. I want you to read from 17 to 18. To 19. Read. Stop there. Until the time his word came. I want you to close your eyes wherever you are. Say, my father, father, tonight, tonight, let my word come that will sort me out. Let your word that will set me free appear. Come. Word of God that will sort me out appear. 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 Open up your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Matthew chapter 8, verse 16 and 17. 16 in particular. Read. And I'll see the same scripture. Read. Anytime you speak a word, you are issuing command. Do you understand what I'm saying? The word of God is not ordinary word. It is a command. Hallelujah. It is like a the word of an army officer to his troop, to his soldiers. Mm. It is not ordinary word. It is a command. Just this evening, I was telling Mama that in the military, that's what they call obey the last order. You don't argue. In Nigeria, for so many years, we witnessed so many coup d'etats. So many times. And most times, many of such army officers were wasted because a superior officer gave a command, go and waste that man. And of course, the soldiers in the military, it is a known fact, obey the last order. They act like zombie, the soldiers. Go and kill, they, they will go and open fire. No question about it. He cast out the evil spirit with a simple command. With a simple command. Are you seeing the reason why you must have a rich vocabulary of God's word on the inside? Because anytime you are praying and you release one, you are releasing ammunition. The devil even knows this. That's why if you like speaking Queen's English, the devil is not terrified. He knew English language before you were even born. Say, my father, my father. By, your by your word. Say, my father, my father. By, your by your word. Address my issue. Address my Say, my father, my father. By, your by your word. Address every negativity. In my life, if I say name, I'm say but amen. amen. For your information, when we talk about the word of God, it is more than a written word. The word stands for Jesus. For in the beginning was the word, 
And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. And without him was there anything made that was made. In him. You see now, it is now addressing the word as him, a human being. In him was a life. And the life was the light of man. And the light shines in darkness. And darkness cannot comprehend it. Someone say the word. the word. Acts of the Apostle chapter 20 verse 32. Read. Give us King James. Read. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. Hear this. Anytime you spend time in the study of God's word, you are like a man in a gym, building up his muscles, or a lady in the gym. These days, ladies are equally building their muscles. Why are you laughing? Ah, my own wife equally works out in the gym. Building her six pack. <laughs> there her, she will scatter your face. <laughs> Number two, kill. Number two, kill for the Pharaoh is the power of the blood. Power of the blood. Power of the blood. Exodus chapter 12, verse 13. Read. Zechariah chapter 9, 11 to 12. Read. And in verse 12. Now, verse 11, I want you to personalize it. Say, as for Benjamin also. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood. All the lamb, sing it with power. There is power, 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 power. wonder working power in the precious blood of the lamb. There is power, there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood, in the blood of the lamb. There is power, 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 wonder working power in the precious blood of the lamb. Power, 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 in the blood, in the blood, the blood, the 
person who was a satanist was giving testimony here how God delivered her and she ended by saying if only Christians knew the power in the blood of Jesus oh, yes. they would not be economical in the usage oh, so many of us are so economical with the usage of the blood of Jesus as if God is charging us money to use it Hear this. The blood of Jesus was the game changer ah. in Egypt. It was the last card that God played. When God pulled that last card, it was the blood. Pharaoh was in a hurry to release them. He was in a hurry. And a foolish man said, even bless me also. <laughs> bless me also. But you people will just go. We are going to use the blood. I have not forgotten some years ago. We were having an all night here. And I told the church to scream the blood of Jesus 21 whole times before the prayers started. As the church was vibrating, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. One wretched woman started running. She ran out. And they pursued her towards the gate. And she said, leave me, leave me. Fire is too much. Leave me, leave me, leave me. You know, where people are economical with the usage of spiritual power, a witch can feel comfortable in such a church. Hey. Are you hearing me? When we tell you shall fire, we know why we tell you shall fire. If the church grows cold, even Satan can come and be clapping. Let me tell you, one brother shared this with me. I will not mention any church here. He, share, he said in their church a popular church in Kampala here he said it was praise and worship so everybody lifted up their holy hands he said he went into a trance and he discovered that most hands that were lifted were serpents in the church popular church in Kampala I saw a tweet somebody shared I don't know I, I think one of these platforms I saw something like that a church where deliverance is not done is a nursery for demons and I agree 101% a church that is where deliverance is not done is a nursery for demons and I believe because in such a church even the end of Satan will be comfortable there even the mother-in-law said that we'll be comfortable there. He think worship is... Worship doesn't scare the devil. He was a worshiper in heaven. So when a church tells me they don't do deliverance, I wonder, is it the church of Jesus Christ? The Bible says he was going about healing the sick and delivering the oppressed. So if a church is not involved in the delivering of your press, who is the head of that church? That's the question. You are going to pray. Say every Pharaoh, every Pharaoh oppressing my life, oppressing my life be, suffocated be suffocated by the blood of Jesus. Open up your mouth, pray. Every Pharaoh suppressing my life, I suppress you to death with the sword of fire of God by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I hold the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, against you. You the Pharaoh, die, 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 die. Die, da, 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 die, die, da, 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 die, die, da, 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 die. As I clap and pray, Lele Busu Talaba, as I clap and pray, you the Pharaoh, die, 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 
As I angrily crap and pray, I hey, Jesus. Death. Then we'll pray. Wherever you are, make sure your hand is touching the floor. Make sure your hand is touching the, the earth. Say, O oh, earth, O oh, earth. O oh, earth, O oh, earth. Open up. Open up. Drink the blood of Jesus. Drink the blood of and Jesus. And vomit. And vomit. My potential. My potential. O oh, earth, O oh, earth. O oh, earth, O oh, earth. Oh, drink the blood of Jesus. Drink the blood of Jesus. O oh, earth, O oh, earth. O oh, earth, O oh, earth. O oh, earth. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. And drink. And drink. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. And vomit. And vomit. My potentials. My potentials. And vomit. And vomit. And vomit. And vomit. My virtues. And vomit. And open up your mouth. Pray. Pray. And vomit. Vomit my, my virtues. Oh, and vomit. Open up. Drink the blood of Jesus. Vomit my virtues. Vomit, vomit. my virtues. Pray. Vomit. Vomit. Oh, and oh, and. Open up. And vomit my greatness. Vomit my potentials. Vomit my virtues. Vomit, vomit, vomit. Masha da ra 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 ra. Repos. Are you praying? Oh, art, oh, art. Vomit, 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 vomit. Vomit by the power of God. Vomit my virtues. Vomit my potentials. Vomit my greatness. Vomit my elevation. Vomit my promotion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Stand on your feet. Say, blood of Jesus. Enter my father's house. Enter my mother's house. And release my greatness. Blood of Jesus. Enter my father's house. Enter my mother's house. And release. And release. And release my greatness. Pray. Lord of Jesus, enter my father's and mother's house. And release, and release, and release, and release, and release. Drain the blood of Jesus. And release my potentials. Mashiki dara bara bara bara. Makaziki dara kara ya. Reka dara kaziki talaba. As I clap and pray, release. Drain the blood of Jesus. Release, 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 release. Now. Now, 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 release, 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 now, now, my virtues, my potential, my promotion, my elevation, Akaribu, Rakasidalava, Makabu Sota, Rakaskede, Rakakuriara, Rakabrokosa, Matonda Braske, Rakaskede. Recada Raka, Relis, 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 Something is happening. Why are you looking at somebody? Open your mouth and pray. As we clap 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 and pray. Raka seketa la baraha. Maka busuta yelaba. Pa 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 de de de. Pa de 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 de. Raba ba 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 ba. Ma de 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 de. Drain the blood of Jesus. Drain the blood of Jesus and for me, you must for me, you must for me my promotion. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I come against you with the powerful speaking blood of Jesus Christ. Hey, da 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 da. Any witch that has taken over my promotion, release it now. Release it now. Any witch, any wizard that has taken over. My elevation, my promotion, release and die, release and die, release and die, release and die. I hold the blood of Jesus Christ against you right now. You must release, you must release my virtues, you must release my career, you must.
must release my promotion. You must release my elevation. You must release my greatness. You must release my new song. You must release my new story. You must release. Jesus. Then we we'll pray. Amen. There are some people here. In your father's compound. You are greatness. Not even one person. We are buried under a matoke tree. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. And that matoke tree has been there for a very long time. It has now become a sacred tree. It has now become a sacred tree. I've just been wondering what to do with that matoke tree now. I've just been wondering what to do with that matoke tree. Say you that wicked matoke tree in my father's house. <laughs> Say blood of Jesus. Locate that matoke tree in my father's house where my destiny has been buried. Say by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let that matoke tree wither, 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 and die. Say you, my destiny, buried under a matoke tree. What are you still doing there? Escape by fire. Escape by fire. Escape by fire. Open your mouth. Pray. Now we'll pray. Lift up your two hands. Close your eyes. You're going to take your mind to your father's house. Just bring your father's compound in, in picture. Let it flood your imagination now. And you're going to pray a simple prayer in your heart. Mm. Say, judgment of fire. Judgment of fire. Enter, Enter my father's house my father's for my sake, for my sake. And, destroy and destroy every matuke tree growing over my destiny. Over my destiny. What did I say? Uh-huh. Begin to pray that prayer slowly. Begin to pray. Are you praying? Ha 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 ha! Ta ta Yes. Yes. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Help her. Help her. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Kaka kiparika ko 
Kotori ba. Let your greatness be vomited. Let your greatness be vomited. Be vomited. Be vomited. Be vomited. Be vomited. Amen. Madare brokos. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is what you are going to pray. Say every wicked tree. Every wicked tree. Growing for my sake. Growing for my sake. You are a liar. You are a liar. Wither by fire. Wither by, Wither by fire. Wither by fire. Pray. Ye kise tara kabrokos. Makata rakara kabedede. Any evil tree growing for my sake, dry up, 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 and even three. Oh, Kasakatarawa, insisting for my sake, dry up, dry up. The in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. That's in prayer. We are still praying. Say every evil tree growing over my destiny. Your end has come. Your end has come. Die. 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 Pray. In evil tree growing for my sake. Your end has come. 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 We die. We die. We die. Maba baba 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 de de broko sala kasa katele makada ya lakada ribo soko soko ta ya lakaske rekada rakase de lebo sota ya labra le fire ball fire Iri brusota ya laba, makase keda laba, rekada laba brusota, beri brukosa laba, beri less wi fire, 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 beri less wi fire. Let fire take over you, let fire take over you, let fire take over you. Be delivered right now. Me seke brukosa la kada la kaskete le brusa la da, rekede reke brukosa ya laba. Lusa, lusa, la baba. Reboso taya la la la, rekana rakase keta ya. Reboso taya la ba, makaburo koboso taya. Rekana rakase da la ba, makaburo kosa la ba ba. Reboso taya la la la. Say you my destiny. You my destiny. Escape. Escape from that evil tree. From that evil tree. You my destiny. You my destiny. Escape. 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 Open your mouth. Escape. Escape. Escape, escape from that evil tree, from that evil tree, from that evil tree, from under the tree. Let my destiny jump out by fire. Escape right now. Jump out by fire. Jump out by fire. I stand in gap on my spouse, on my children that are not here as I command any tree that swallow them up. For me, there, we die, we die, we die. Let that tree. Wither by fire, wither by fire, wither by fire, wither by fire, wither by fire. Madere bo sokota la kasketa, rakate le brokosa la hada yara, reba makase kete le brokosa yala hada. Please be seated. Now, you see this last set of prayers we prayed. If there is a plantation of matoke in your father's house, if we had continued, I'm, I'm just looking at our time. Please, it's a take-home prayer. It's a take-home prayer for people involved. Number three, cure for Mr. Pharaoh is the sword of judgment. The sword of judgment. Exodus chapter 4, verse 2 to 
Exodus chapter 4, verse 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Read 23. Let my son go. If you will not let him go, I will slay your son, even your first son. And of course, slaying is a function of the sword. It takes the sword for God to slay. You are going to pray. Stand on your feet. Say, sword of fire. Sword of fire. Locate and slay. Locate and slay. Every stubborn enemy of my soul. Say sword of fire. Locate and slay. Every stubborn enemy of my life. Every stubborn enemy of my destiny. Every stubborn enemy of my family. Open up your mouth and pray. Jesus name we have prayed in Jesus name we have prayed hmm. you are going to pray this prayer say sword of fire okay fine say any wicked man or woman that has vowed not to let me go receive the sword of fire any wicked man or woman you know no don't pray i was just thinking about many things a daughter here told me that one muyaye told her because she has refused to marry him that she will never get married how can a human being be talking like jehovah a human being that just a breath away is married by fire by force. It is by choice. If they bounce you, try your luck another place. It's as simple as ABC. There are many vacancies in Kampala. At least one thing I know is that Kampala is not suffering from scarcity of girls. <laughs> Kampala has them in abundance. <laughs> Kampala has them in abundance. So why should somebody be threatening an innocent girl? Say any wicked man or woman, wicked man or woman that has vowed not to let me go. Let me. When my God when my want to release me, you are finished. Receive uh, the sword of fire. The sword of fire. The sword of fire. Sword of fire. Pray. Then we'll pray. 
Repeat after me. Say in the name of Jesus. I take authority over every mountain in my life. Say everything that followed me from the womb of my mother. Today is the end. Today is the end. Go. 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 Open up your mouth. Send them back in. Let them go. 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 Are you praying? Jesus name we we'll pray. Amen. Someone say, I take, I take authority. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Over every altar oh of affliction, oh oppression, oppression, suppression, oppression. limitation, limitation. Captivity. captivity, generational transfer. Today is your end. Today is your end. Today is your end. Is your end. Is your end. Is your end. Say every altar every limiting my life and destiny catch fire nah catch fire nah catch fire open your mouth pray catch fire in the name of Jesus every altar limited my life catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire rabusu tayara kasita makabusu turibusu tayara Every altar limit in my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar limit in my life. Ah, kasi de lebo suta la baba. Ma kasi ke de ribo kusa yala. Reke de reke bo suta la baba. Catch fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Catch fire, yeah, 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 yeah. In Jesus, then we we'll pray. Say, my father, my father we, neutralize, we neutralize, cancel, cancel render, render, null and void. Every negative prediction I made by myself, made by another person, against my life, against my wife, against my children. Say, every negative prediction made against my marital destiny against my ministry against my career against my destiny be cancelled by the blood of jesus be cancelled by the fire of god be cancelled in the name of jesus cancel every evil prediction made against your life Jesus, then we'll pray. We're going to pray a very important last prayer in order to make sure that everyone is sorted before we go into that prayer. If you are here and you have not given your life to Jesus, just come to the altar for your own good. Now let me tell you people, Two church members came to see me, a man and a husband. A man and a wife, forgive me. A couple. 
and I just love the wife. She was so audacious and bold. She asked the husband in my presence, are you saved? Even me, I was embarrassed with that question. Because me, I knew the brother has been a church member. She said, Papa, I don't mind this man. He's not saved. He's just following me about. He just come here because I come here. Just to make sure he hangs around me. So it is possible that somebody has been coming here as a tourist. Thank God that I told the brother, you mean all this while you've been coming here, you have not been saved. He told me, I don't know. Most times when you make altar call, I want to come out, but something will keep me behind. I said, today, you are not leaving this office. He just smiled. And thank God, eventually, he gave his life to Jesus. Amen. So it is not being, it's not about church membership. It is about escaping from eternity in hell. So, escape and run to Jesus now. You know you are not born again. Jesus knows you. Even Satan knows you. So you are not fooling anybody. You are just fooling yourself. So, it is your life. I'm just going to give a count of seven. We don't have all the time. I have to wrap up and give room for another person. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. Someone say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Tonight, thank you for tonight. It's my night of liberty. Thank you for tonight. I am stepping into my destiny. Say, I am stepping. Move around into my destiny. Take a prophetic step. Say, tonight, I am stepping into my destiny. Say, my father, I decree. Let every unrepentant Pharaoh who will not let me rest? Who will not let my family rest? Let them be rested by fire. Say every Pharaoh that won't let me rest, that won't let my family rest, that won't let my wife rest, that won't let my children rest. You are finished. Be rested by fire. Be rested. Open up your mouth. Say whatsoever Pharaoh has stolen from my life. I take them back now. I take them back now. Say whatsoever I have lost to Pharaoh right now. I take it, I take them back. Open up your mouth, begin to take them back. Somebody take them back by force.
take them back take them back by force by force take them back your marriage that pharaoh took from you take it back by force that promotion take it back by force somebody be angry it is a time of restoration it is a time to recover whatever the enemy has taken from you whatever the enemy has taken from you somebody be angry and begin to recover begin to take back take back your promotion take back your children whatever why you see that you have lost the grace is available begin to take it back begin to take it back begin to take it back you are glory the enemy has stolen from you take it back this morning 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 I'm giving you time somebody take back take back take back take back that is not the way they take back somebody make a prophetic action as you take back what belongs to you as you take back you cannot tell me you have not lost anything many people have lost opportunities begin to take them back begin to take them back this morning take them back between the morning take them back take them back by fire take them back by fire take them back by fire in the name of jesus christ in jesus mighty name we have prayed say this morning i pursue overtake and recover whatever i have lost to the enemy in the name of jesus somebody pursue overtake and recover Pass you overtake, pass you overtake and recover, recover all. Somebody recover all, recover all. Remakayele kelebo. Whatever the powers of your father's house has taken from you, whatever the powers of your mother's house has taken from you, Ale kelebo shatayala baba ba. Take back whatever that witch and wizard ah has taken from you, whatever marine powers have stolen from you. If you single sister here be angry about marine powers begin to demand for what belongs to you demand for what belongs to you for the bible says when a thief is caught he shall restore sevenfold somebody command him that thief tell the powers of your father's house you are a thief right now i have caught you restore sevenfold whatever you have taken from me restore sevenfold restore sevenfold you the powers of my father's house you are a thief you have stolen from me enough is enough restore release whatever you have taken from me in the name of jesus christ some people are not getting the prayer right somebody you're not getting the prayer right i want you to stand in the scripture when a thief is called he shall restore sevenfold it is still some moment of restoration let the powers restore sevenfold let that which restore sevenfold is it promotion that thief has stolen from you is it a husband ah, are they children somebody command sevenfold sevenfold restoration sevenfold restoration in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we have prayed i pray for you the bible says in joel chapter 2 that i will restore whatever the cankworms whatever the caterpillars have taken from you by the power in the name of Jesus Christ I don't want to know when you lost it I don't want to know when it uh, when you lost it but by the power that works on this altar I declare a restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I declare a total restoration in the name of Jesus Christ restoration of opportunities in the name of Jesus Christ total restoration of your glory in the name of Jesus Christ total restoration of your marital death in the name of Jesus Christ total restoration of your career total restoration of your children in the name of Jesus Christ any power that will 
rise up to steal from you again. Such power shall scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I seal whatever has been restored into your hands by the blood of Jesus Christ. And I declare a no-go area by the enemy in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Say, my Father, in this segment, empower me to pray my way through in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I refuse to wander in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I decree and I declare it is my time to be visible. It is my time to be visible. It is my time to rise and shine. Somebody open up your mouth and begin to pray. Make that declaration. This morning you must leave this place when you are visible. No obscurity, no more covering, no more fail. You must leave this place in the name of Jesus. Makarebo shetelelebo zeta yanaba Reketelelebo ziya makayaka Ilekelebo zeta yamandelelebo Rimbro shela makata yanaba maba In Jesus name we have prayed In Jesus name we have prayed Tell your neighbor it is my morning It is my morning I will not be covered again I will not be covered again. I am living here when I am visible. Anywhere I appear, I shall attract attention. I shall attract help in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I am just believing God in these few remaining minutes that the Lord will uncover somebody. That the Lord will uncover somebody. That whatever has covered your life and destiny shall be rolled away this morning. Whatever has covered your marriage shall be rolled away this morning. Hallelujah. Just help me and be ready to pray. Praise the Lord. Media give us 2 Corinthians chapter 3. We are going to read from 15 to 17. I want everybody to be up. Tell your neighbor, just help yourself. Because the Bible says from the time of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffers violent and only the violent take it by force. One, two, three, can we read? But even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their hearts. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away somebody the veil is is going to be taken away give us a simpler version new living translation yes i want us to read yes even today even now as they read moses writings their hearts are covered with that veil and they do not understand 16 but whenever someone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Whenever somebody turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Even now, as I speak, some veils are catching fire in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God is yes and amen. Hallelujah. Every time, whenever any man any woman turns to the lord the veil will be what hallelujah praise the lord do you have people who have turned to the lord ah today whatever let me pray for you whatever looks like a veil whether it is a witchcraft veil whether it is a marine veil whether it is a foundational veil whether it is an ancestral veil whatever name it is called because you are in the presence of the lord this morning that veil is hereby removed in the name of jesus christ i stand on this scripture this morning and by the power that works on this altar and i remove that veil from you in the name of jesus christ any veil that has covered you any veil 
that has made it a concern in your life on this altar this morning such veil is here by removed in the name of Jesus Christ in the marine veil that has been a concern in your life in the ancestral veil that has been a concern in your life as your made your amen thunder this morning it is here by catching fire in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus mighty name we have prayed say every veil every veil that covered the glory of my parents you are a liar you are a liar my case is different I command you to catch fire in the name of Jesus in Jesus name I pray praise the Lord I am just selecting out prayer points that are very important to your life this morning because of the time hallelujah and I want you to pray them with all your might praise the Lord I am talking about the evil veils that covered the glory of your father that covered the glory of your mother that covered the glory of your sisters that they were not able to fulfill their destiny and you are seeing that very veil is also covering you and this morning we are saying no more in the name of Jesus Christ in other words we are saying anything that limited my father anything that limited my mother ah, my case is different today hallelujah praise the Lord praise the Lord the reason why your parents did not fulfill their destinies they were limited in certain areas because there were some veils that covered them hallelujah and we are saying any veil that covered the glory of my parents I am not your candidate hallelujah and I am saying that in, rest, in reference to this scripture we have just read that when you turn to God that veil will be doing what? taken away are you ready to pray this morning? say any veil that covered the glory of my parents this morning you are a liar I am not your candidate I command you in the name of Jesus catch fire somebody pray let that veil catch fire. That veil that covered the glory, the glory of your father. And they disappeared from this planet before their time. Let that veil catch fire. Let that evil veil catch fire. It can be a veil of witchcraft. Maybe it is a veil of marine. It is a veil. Ah, Makuri of premature death. Somebody commanded to catch fire. Say no to that veil. Your case is different. You are before the God Almighty who is able to deliver. He has the power to say Rekele Bosaya Makataya Somebody command it to catch fire Somebody command it to catch fire Refuse that fail. Refuse that fail. Say as I kill up and pray. I command that fail to catch fire. I command that fail to catch fire. I tear that fail. I destroy it this morning in the name of Jesus. Somebody be angry. Rakataya Rabababa. Say Kele that veil that has become a pattern that you are seeing happening in your father's house happening in your mother's house let that veil catch fire let that veil be torn that veil of marital failure that veil of failure at the point of breakthrough shame and disgrace veils the veils of rejection veils of poverty that limited your father somebody command them to catch fire Zayama Kayama, Zelelebo Shatayama, Makurianda Yalababa. Somebody just look into your family and begin to destroy them, begin to destroy them, begin to deal with them, begin to deal with them. Mashataya Lekelebo, I cannot be limited, I cannot be covered, whatever covered them. Ah, my father's glory, my mother's glory, and they were not able to fulfill destiny. My case is different this morning. I command them to catch fire. I destroy them this morning. Makalebo shataya zelelebo siyama kandelebo zayama kurianda yalababa. 
Oh, my camera shut baba. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Rema shete lele kele kendele. As I kill up on pray, I am setting them a blaze on fire. I am setting them a blaze on fire. I am setting them a blaze on fire. Makate lele bo shita yaba. Rekete lele bo zita yala baba. I am setting them a blaze on fire. I am setting them a blaze on fire. I am setting them a blaze on fire. That veil that is threatening the glory of God in your life, somebody destroy it. Somebody destroy it. We have agreed we are living here when we are visible, when we are visible, when our destinies are visible. No more counterfeit. I command that veil to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17, Therefore, if a man is be in Christ, he is a new creature. Praise the Lord. All things have passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Hallelujah. Meaning the old is gone. A new life has begun. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you, when you become born again, that veil of the unbelievers must be taken away. Hallelujah. You are not permitted to carry that veil. The unbelievers carry in your life. Praise the Lord. And as a child of God, you become like a mirror. Reflecting God's glory. And if that is not happening, something is still wrong. Praise the Lord. Because you have crossed over from the other side to this side of light. And the Bible says light shines in darkness and darkness comprehends it not. Praise the Lord. Any veil that is threatening the glory of God in your life. Any veil that is threatening the glory of God in your life. This morning, I it, I destroy it, and I command it to catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I pray. In case you don't know, a veil is a satanic mask used as a means of covering, used as a means of preventing, used as a, as a means of hindering and blocking the progress of ch the children of God. Let me tell you, it is the visible that are proposed to do you agree with me it is those who are visible that attract opportunities it is only those who are visible that are given attention praise the lord tell anybody you better pray for yourself praise the lord let me tell you, a veil is a weapon the enemy uses to lock the destinies of the children of God. You find that a man or a woman has all it takes to be a CEO, but nobody knows about that person. Praise the Lord. It is the evil veil that makes a person and reduces a person to a local champion when you ought to be a global champion. Praise the Lord. Because nobody is aware about you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is the visible that attract attention. It is the visible that will access what the Lord has for them in this. It is the visible that we'll see in the future. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But this morning, the good news is Isaiah 25 verse 7. That on this mountain... Even where you are, shall the Lord destroy the face of the covering cast. Praise the Lord. On this very mountain where you are, shall the Lord remove that veil. Shall the Lord, Lord remove that veil of witchcraft. Shall the Lord remove that veil that has reduced you to a local champion. Shall the Lord remove that veil. Praise the Lord. Say, my father, on this mountain, destroy every evil veil, working as a barrier, working as a hindrance, working as an embargo to my success. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody begin to pray. You are on the mountain this morning. Say, oh God, 
on this mountain this morning remove remove and destroy you are not praying makale bo shetelele bo shetaya laba rekata ya ndelele bo rema shetaya laba baba makatele bo on this mountain my father destroy destroy every evil veil walking as a barrier walking as an embargo walking as a hindrance ah to my success oh god destroy that barrier destroy that embargo ah my father destroy my father destroy my father destroy my father that destroy oh lord destroy jehovah destroy rima shata yalaka reketelele bo rima shata yala baba baba reketelele bo rima shata yala baba baba get angry and pray it is a cry that jehovah will remove that veil let me tell you there are different veils for some people are only visible in their career but in their marital destiny they are not visible at all makale bo shata ya la baba ba rema seketele de bo shata ya la baba ba makatelele bo rema sheta ya la baba ba rekata ya ndelele bo rema sheta ya la baba ba makatelele bo rema sheta lele bo rekata ya la baba ba ba In Jesus name we have prayed. In Jesus name we pray. Media give us Isaiah 25 verse 7. There's something I want to bring out here so that people will pray very well. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that spread over all nations. Praise the Lord. If the veil that evil veil can cover the whole nation it means the veil can still cover even the community where you stay it can also cover a whole family praise the lord you find a family struggling and yet they are covered by a specific type of evil veil praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah that's when you hear in that family all the girls do not marry in that family ah, they have all the degrees but no jobs praise the lord uh, in that family, uh, girls marry or boys marry, but no giving birth. Praise the Lord. So it is possible. A veil is a serious thing. Hallelujah. It can cover the whole family, and the family fails to fulfill destiny. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They have what it takes, but no show. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is the same veil, the evil veil, that the enemy uses as a mask to blindfold the children of God from seeing their God-given life and future. They don't see far. Praise the Lord. It is the sponsor of unanswered questions in people's lives. We have done everything. We have fasted. We have done all this. Why is this not happening? Tell your neighbor an evil veil, an evil covering that has hindered you to see your tomorrow say today that veil must be removed must be removed must be removed somebody get a pattern you need to help somebody this morning say my sister my brother any veil any veil any veil that has disconnected you from your divine helpers today in the name of Jesus Christ I command it to catch fire in the name of Jesus somebody begin to pray that veil that has disconnected them from their divine helpers 
Your divine helpers cannot even see you. They cannot even remember you. Somebody pray for your sister. Pray for your sister. As I kill up and pray, my sister, I am commanding that fail to catch fire. I am commanding that fail to catch fire. I am destroying that fail. I am destroying fail, that fail. Whether it is a witchcraft fail, whether it is a marine fail, whether it is a foundational fail, whether it is an ancestral fail. Hey, le kelebore as I kill up and pray in the name of Jesus Christ, I command it to catch fire. I tear it this morning. My sister, I am praying in the name of Jesus and I come up commanding that veil. I that veil. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, I command it to catch fire. 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 Makate. Somebody pray for somebody. The way you would want somebody to pray for you. It is the way you pray for somebody. Ah, Makalebo. It was when Job prayed for somebody. The Lord remembered her. Somebody pray for your sister with one heart. With all your mind. That your sister will be delivered. Who knows that that sister will be your divine helper tomorrow. Somebody pray. Makaraba sayaba. Ilelelebo. Shetelelebo. Rimakatayandelelebo. Somebody pray for them. Whatever has denied you help, any evil fail that has denied you help, my sister, my brother, this morning I'm commanding it to catch fire. I'm commanding it to catch fire. I am destroying. Drawing it this morning. Amande lelebo sita yala ba. Lekete lelebo rema sita yala ba ba ba. Rekete lelebo rema sita yala ba ba ba. Rekete lelebo reba ba ba ba. Rekata yala ba ba ba. Rembro sita yala ba ba ba. Rema kuta yanda lelebo sita yala ba ba ba. Somebody pray for somebody. Renta yala ba ba ba. In Jesus' name, I pray. You are still praying for your neighbor. Say any evil fail, any evil fail on my brother's life, on my sister's life, scaring away divine helpers. You are a liar. Be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray that veil that is scaring divine helper that is scaring away good things from your system. Good from your brother somebody pray pray my father let that veil be destroyed scaring away ah you are to be husband scaring away you are to be wife somebody begin to go into details as you pray for your brother as you pray for your sister let that veil be destroyed in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty and powerful name, we have prayed. You are still praying for that sister. Say, my sister, any evil hand responsible for spreading evil veils in your life this morning, I command it in the name of Jesus to wither now. Somebody pray. As I kill up and pray, I command that hand that has been spreading evil veil over your life, over your destiny, over your children, over every good thing. I command that hand to wither. Let that hand wither. Somebody begin to tell your brother, your sister, whether it is a foundational veil, whether it is a marine, whether it is an ancestral hand, whether it is a hand from the witches and wizards, that hand is is catching fire. Let that hand wither by fire. Let that hand wither by fire. Let that hand wither by fire. That hand wither by fire. Let that hand wither by fire. Let that hand wither by fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name of prayer. Let your hands be up as I pray for you this morning. And on this mountain, where you are this morning, will your father, the one you have come to seek this morning, 
destroy every evil covering this morning by the power in the name of Jesus Christ I shut up and I scut up and I tear every evil veil that has covered your life that covered your life from the time you came out of your mother's womb this morning I tear it this morning I scatter it this morning I destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ in this satanic agent using grave cloth to project evil fail of untimely sickness in your life this morning such grave clothes are catching fire in the name of just right I cripple and I scatter any power from your father's house assigned to cover you to cover your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ any power from your father's house any witch or wizard any man or woman that covered the glory of your father that covered the glory of your mother and is pursuing to cover you also and is on the run to cover your glory and is on the run to cover the glory of your children by the weapon of fire here I scatter their legs in the name of Jesus Christ I scatter their legs in the name of Jesus Christ I chop off their legs in the name of Jesus Christ I arrest them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for it is written in John in first John 3 8 that for this reason what the Son of God manifested so that he will destroy the works of the enemy evil fail are you not aware you are the work of the enemy I speak to you right now the hand of the Lord has already descended to destroy you right now I command you to scatter I command you to be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ my father let your hand begin to unmask begin to remove any veil that has covered your children this morning in the name of Jesus Christ whatever veil that has been a concern over somebody's life it is catching fire right now it is catching fire right now that veil that has denied you opportunities it is catching fire right now that veil that has hindered you to enter into your marital destiny it is catching fire right now that veil that has hindered you to be promoted it is catching fire right now 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 now just lift up your hands and just be quiet and let Jehovah let the angel the Bible says in Hebrews 1 14 are they not ministering spirits sent to minister unto us ah my father king of glory this morning by your power deploy your angels right now to begin to unmask ah marebo shata yala baba somebody see that veil going away see that veil being removed enough is enough of staying in one place enough is enough of being covered see that veil of marital ineligibility being removed the angels are passing around ah somebody see that veil being destroyed this morning for the word of God is yes and amen and you are ready on this mountain let that veil be removed let that veil be removed let that veil catch fire let that veil be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ that evil veil that landed on you on your life immediately you were born let that veil be destroyed no more covering in the name of Jesus Christ no more covering in the name of Jesus Christ any altar that is responsible for evil evil veils in your life such altar is catching fire somebody just concentrate do not look at other people that are being delivered let Jehovah do the deliverance on his own see your own veil being destroyed see your own veil being destroyed see your own veil being removed that veil that has turned you into a counterfeit child of God this morning it is being removed the hand of God is removing it the hand of the Lord 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 is unmasking you the hand of the Lord is scattering that mask it is scattering that mask it is is scattering that mass in the name of Jesus Christ whatever looks like a veil today I say no more 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 in the evil veil that has graduated you 
any evil veil that graduated your parents and reduced them into a degree of local champion today it is catching fire it is catching fire because your case is different it is catching fire 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 in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we have prayed in Jesus name we have prayed in Jesus name we have prayed if you're clapping clap for Jesus in Jesus name we have prayed in Jesus name we have prayed in Jesus name we have prayed say this morning this morning I arise I arise. I don't know why the Lord has everybody who is coming here is dwelling on our rise and shine. If you are sensitive enough, everybody who is coming here, everybody prepared a different message, but everybody is talking about arising and doing what? There's something about it. Say, my father, this morning on this mountain, I declare no more of security no more no more somebody begin to declare no more no more just be sensitive and begin to declare no more no more no more of security no more rejection no more in the name of jesus christ no more no more somebody pray and declare no more no more no more counterfeit glory no more counterfeit glory my star will no longer be covered somebody begin to make decrease this morning we are in the early mornings if you are not aware we are already commanding the morning no more no more somebody declare no more no more covering no more of security no more no more no more no more no more in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we have prayed i pray for you Because of the, what the Lord has done this morning. That veil that has been destroyed. That veil that has been removed. I welcome you to the mountain of visibility in the name of Jesus. I welcome you to the mountain of visibility in the name of Jesus Christ. On that very mountain, you will no longer be covered in the name of Jesus Christ. Any hand that will rise up cover you again such hand shall wither in the name of jesus christ any power that will want to pursue you ah because of what the lord has done for you such power shall collide with the rock of ages in the name of jesus christ powers of your father's house powers of your mother's side that will want to pursue you to cover you again they will crash and collide with the rock of ages in the name of jesus christ I build a wall of fire and the blood of Jesus Christ between you and the powers of your father's house. On that mountain where you are of visibility, I bring the powers of your father's house under your feet in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring the witches and wizards of your father's house under your feet in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring all the negativities you have suffered before under your feet in the name of Jesus Christ. On that very mountain of visibility, I speak to somebody. In opportunity you have lost as a result of any evil fail they are coming back to you in the name of jesus christ in the proposal you lost as a sister it is locating you back in the name of Jesus Christ. any man or woman that has been forgotten because you are on this mountain of visibility you shall be remembered in the name of jesus christ and on this mountain of visibility any sister here that has been believing God for marriage proposals are coming on your way in the name of Jesus Christ get ready for proposals in the name of Jesus Christ I say get ready for proposals in the name of Jesus Christ any man in our midst any woman that has been believing God for a promotion uh, and the, the evil veil 
has been a concern because Jehovah has removed it and you're on the mountain of visibility your promotion is coming on your way in the name of Jesus Christ your promotion is coming on your way somebody say I receive it I receive it I receive it and anybody that lost the glory as a result of evil vain, your glory it's being restored now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, that business is being uncovered to rise and shine. In the name of Jesus Christ, from today, anywhere you appear, you shall be visible in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere you appear, you shall attract attention in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere you appear, those people who had forgotten you, they will begin to remember you in the name of Jesus Christ. All the contracts you lost them because you are invisible, because now you are now visible, they are coming back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare and I declare on this mountain of visibility, no more obscurity no more covering in the name of Jesus Christ if you believe it let your amen be loud this morning if you believe it let your amen be loud this morning let your amen confirm your answer let your amen confirm your visibility let your amen confirm your visibility let your amen confirm your visibility in Jesus name we have prayed in Jesus name we have prayed you are God you are not just big you are not just natural you are great God you that is me today are you not seeing me praise the Lord praise the Lord tell your neighbor my neighbor from today get ready to hear my testimony as I move out here I shall be I shall attract good things attention in the name of just Christ 
Say my neighbor. Uh, today, the Lord has done it for me. The Lord has done it for me. In Jesus' name I pray. You have won the battle, Jehovah, you do well. Oh. You have won the battle, Jehovah, you do well. Oh. You have won the battle, Jehovah, you do well. Oh. You have won the battle, Jehovah, you do well. Oh. You have won the battle, Jehovah, you do well. Oh. You have won the battle, Jehovah. testimony we want you to go and register the testimony as the choir will be taking us through praise mr kasos is already out somebody go and register your testimony and come and testify hallelujah I i'm not told anybody to sit what is happening victorious people
Take your seats. Hallelujah. Can your hallelujah, can your amen rise higher than that? Hallelujah. 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 Can we clap for Jesus? Can we give the Lord Jesus a better praise, hand of praise, testimony time? Overcomers time. Yes, brother Adrian and sister Tracy come and share what the Lord has done. Let's clap for Jesus one more time. Let's clap for Jesus one more time. And let's clap for our pastors that have led us tonight. Last. <laughs> Hallelujah. Tell the church your name and what the Lord has done for you. Praise God, church. My name is Tracy. I am so blessed that I came here today because my sister went to Mutunde Fan overnight and I decided, no, me, I am coming here. So, uh, first, when Mama was preaching, she talked about someone that was given something in that dream. I've had a dream where my auntie has given us eggs to eat, but me, sometimes I wouldn't take it serious. So, I believe I am delivered. Then, Papa talked about. Um, someone whose destinies, whose marital destinies were hidden in a tree and I have been having dreams where I am praying for marriage in my, in my family because my siblings are all the girls because we are family of girls and from the, my cousins, the ones we grew with, no one is married. If they are married, they have children and they are not, they are just home. So I've had dreams where my auntie still tells us to go and clean a certain tree. But when we are cleaning, we, I see snakes everywhere. All the time, I try to pray for marriage. I see snakes. I see all that. Then my sister, my little sister, recently she was praying for us. But in Luganda, she was saying, She saw an old woman who came and was trying to get, she didn't, my sister didn't see the face of the person. She, that old woman was trying to get the veil of the, the Mugole. But as, she, as my sister was praying, the woman ran off into a tree. So I believe I'm delivered. If you believe you have been delivered tonight, get on your feet, clap for Jesus. If you believe you have been delivered tonight, Get on your feet, clap for Jesus. The prayers we are spot on, the prayers we are spot on, receive all the glory, Lord. 
Receive all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name. Uh, praise God. Uh, my name is Adrian. I want to thank, I have two testimonies. For one, I want to thank God for my life. The Lord has preserved my life. He has given me a good deal. He has preserved me uh, from accidents and things like that. And then secondly, I want to thank God for my academics. Uh, I think I joined here when I was in my senior six work and uh, by then I hadn't secured, a, a, uh, hadn't secured funding for my tertiary education. Okay, I had a scholarship, but it was on a verge where even the scholars would be like, uh, we are not yet sure if we, we really have you on board. But I want to thank God that, uh, so they finally agreed and they gave me a, a letter. So I, I, I joined tertiary institution. But then there are some other, some other functional fees I had to pay, so I, I had a delay. Now, my particular school was very strict and uh, it, had a, it had a principle that uh, when so it, it, it used to send off some of the last students who, who delay and it would make them sign a dead year. So we had to go through that and it had to intervene, the, it had to bring in the principal for me to, to, uh, to, for the principal to tell my school to allow me in. That was something like three weeks later. But I want to thank God that for the gift of excellence that ever since I joined uh, campus, it's two years, I've completed two years now, I'm in my third year, but I have talked, I've excelled in my school, not because I read so much, but I thank God that I've excelled, I've, been, I've taught my class ever since I joined. And I want to thank God that if you are clapping, clapping for Jesus, do that for Jesus. You know, sometimes I'll be, uh, they'll be asking my, some of my friends who come here and they're like, oh, how are you going to Adrian's church? And they're like, no, Adrian's, when you go, when, you see, when, Adrian, when Adrian's church has products, like, you'll see, his, you see, you'll see how he, he's getting results from there. And I just want to thank, I just want to glorify the name of the Lord for he has given me the spirit of excellence and for the provision. I thank God for that. Do you believe that your church has results? Do you believe that your church has products? Give the Lord praise. Give the Lord glory. Father, receive all the glory. Receive all the praise for what you are doing in our midst. Receive all the honor. We thank you for these testimonies, King of glory, that we have had, that have been shared this morning. Receive all the glory. Receive all the honor, Father. Use these testimonies to do greater and bigger things in the testifiers. Do greater and bigger things even for the people that have had these testimonies. Receive all the glory. We soak these testimonies in the blood of Jesus. We declare these testimonies shall be permanent. And you shall use them to do greater and bigger things in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We'll have about 15 minutes to wrap up. The next thing we're going to do now. I want to give you some time to ask God for the most important thing in your life. Something that, if it is done, you will really laugh. You on your own now, begin to pray. I have a God who answers prayers. I have a God who answers prayers. I have a God who answers prayers, who answers prayers forevermore. I have a God, I have a God who answers prayers. I have a God who answers prayers. I have a God I have a God. I have a God who answers prayers. He answers prayers. I have a God who answers prayers. He answers prayers. I have a God who answers prayers. Who answers prayers forevermore. I have a God. I have a God who answers prayers. He answers prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. 
encourages us to be our brother's keeper. This morning, Nigeria is having a, a very decisive presidential election that will either make or mar the destiny of that country. Very decisive. This past night in Nigeria is like a crossover night. Everywhere is very quiet because of the election that is coming this morning. I want us to pray. The Bible says when the righteous are in authority, the people will rejoice that the Lord himself will anoint a leader for the nation. That the Lord himself will single-handedly the devices of men to enthrone themselves that God himself will enthrone a person of his choice. Open up your mouth and begin to pray. Kaki pari kakokoriba, kaki pari. 
Rika Koko Riba in the Rika Kipa Kaki Pari Kako Koriba Makaki Pari Kakipa Kako Koriba A Jehovah make a name for yourself make a name for yourself single-handedly anoint a candidate enthrone your choice after the order of David enthrone your choice the same way David was enthroned Begin to conclude in Jesus' name. We pray. Open up your hands, it is written, and on this wise shall the priest bless the people. May the Lord bless and keep you, cause his face to shine on you, lift up his countenance upon you and keep in perfect peace I gather all the prayers who prayed today God himself said very very I say unto you whatever I hear you say I will do unto you whatever you uttered at the place of prayer which God had may they become and may they become evidential in your life whatever you uttered the ones you prayed very well and the ones you did not pray very well may God's mercy intervene on your behalf every situation that has given you consign every situation that has brought tears to your eyes every situation that has made life bitter I pray the God of heaven and earth let him turn things around in your favor in the name of Jesus Christ I declare over your life every stubborn situation that has resisted your prayers resisted your spiritual efforts resisted your fasting by the mercies of God let there be a sudden turn around let there be a sudden turn around. Yeah. Your sacrifices of tonight will not be in vain. Yeah. For denying yourself sleep, God will not allow you to go empty handed. Yeah. May the Lord honor your sacrifice. May the Lord smile on your destiny. May the Lord wipe away your tears. Whatever represents a chain and a negativity, at the shout of your amen, let them be broken by fire. I deploy the hand of God over your life. I pray that the hand of Jehovah will be visible and tangible on your life whatever you could not do by yourself every situation that is beyond your capacity by the power in the name of jesus let them become a walkover let them become a walkover let them become a walkover i declare over your life the God of overnight intervention. May he intervene in that your situation. The God of overnight intervention. May he close that chapter of negativity. Let that chapter of pain be closed forever. Let that chapter of shame be closed forever. Let that chapter of fruitlessness be closed forever. Let that chapter of reproach be closed forever. 
it is a new dawn for you. It is a new day for you. It is a new season for you. I pray as you go home the Lord will give you a confirmation that you have not wasted this night. What your personal prayers could not deliver this corporate prayer will hand over to you. I pray that the Lord will keep you and your family. Even your children you left behind at home. The grace of the God of heaven and earth will continue to abide with them. None of your children will be a source of concern. The Lord will use your children to comfort you. The Lord will use your children to put smiles on your face. The Lord will use your children to cause you to laugh again. In the name of Jesus! As the month of February is coming to an end, I declare, whatever God has not planted in your home, in your life, in your career, in your business, in your health, let them be uprooted. As February is expiring, so shall they totally expire. So shall they totally expire. I hand you over to God. May he lead you home. As you lay your head to sleep, may you experience undeniable encounters. Unforgettable encounters. As you go to sleep, because you've been troubling heaven, may God pay you a visit. I say, may God visit you. Any devil waiting for you to sleep in order to attack you. May they collide with the rock of ages. You will have rest indeed. And the Lord will give you a confirmation that your prayers are answered. I declare that the camp of the enemies of your joy will remain in total confusion. The camp of enemies of your laughter will remain in total confusion. I place the mark of the Lamb of God upon you. The Bible says, as they move from nation to nation, from people of strange language, he suffered no one to do them harm. He reproved kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed, and do my prophet no harm. Until we meet again in the last Friday of March, no bad news will emanate from your life. No evil report will come from your home. The same way you are shouting amen is the same way you end March shouting hallelujah. As we cross from February to March, March will do you well indeed. As we cross from February to March, you are marching on a higher ground. I hand you over to God. May he keep you, preserve you, protect you, secure you, surround you, beautify you, and announce you. Say better in me. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your amen be louder than that. Let your amen be louder than that. Before we do the final benediction, do we have anybody tonight happens to be your first time here? Show of hand. I have the privilege of praying for you. Anybody like that today is your first time here? God bless you. Please come. Keep clapping as they come. Please make sure you are not leaving anything behind except if you are living with somebody. Have you you are welcome. As a church, we celebrate your fellowship. 
your presence tonight really was felt and as a church we want to pray for you and what is our prayer for you this night we make a lot of difference in your destiny our visitors can you say a better amen I pray that tonight this is your sacrifice of tonight we bring answer to your expectations you will not go back to where you have always been your life is shifting to another level say better amen, amen. as a church will have a token for you to go home this sister on your left will hand them over to you just follow her she will give you a token clap as they go hallelujah on sunday first service is eight o'clock in the morning second service 10 30. can we share the grace in fellowship Surely. Twenty twenty three. Uncommon mercy for miracles. God bless you. You are returning back with your testimonies. Have a